All right, hello everyone. Today we'll be playing the Jin story in Dodge Warrior 7. The last story mode. Oh, is this a remix of Superior? Oh, I guess Dynasty Warriors 5 Superior is a remix of Superior, isn't it? Huh. Yeah, there weren't really that many options uh, for old songs just uh, in this game. Well, there were quite a few, actually, but <laughs> none that I particularly liked. So I settled on uh, Superior since I already did uh, Rate of Death. Anyways, on to the story. See, this is why I don't leave it on the menu screen, because it's just... That. <laughs> Complete silence. Well, it's got, like, some whistling wind in the background. That's it. Jin, the kingdom that survives. Yeah. Is Jin's story the shortest? Uh, I think it's the same amount of stages, like 15 stages. I think it's just, uh... A lot of them were fighting generics, because a lot of people are dead by now. <laughs> Father, the enemy has emerged from the castle and has formed defensive ranks. Why would they come out? It is the height of idiocy. Sure, you must act as a decoy and attack from the south. Zhao, once the enemy reacts to Shur's attack, you must strike from the rear. This man, he rebels against Wei and strikes out on his own. Yet he is nothing but a mere fool! This battle is an insult to us all. End it! Elio Bear's performance at CBE is great. You love Jim's lay motif? Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Probably my I favorite of the three. Of the four. Thinking. He could never be the king of Yan. Also, hello, Mage Knight. Haven't seen you in a while. That Gong Sun Yuan's nothing. You could crush him in one hand, my lord. Oh, hey, everyone's favorite Jin character. <laughs> the fully fledged Jin character, Shao Ba. This armor is so heavy. I should have left it behind. If anyone else of interest, have yeah, a get some name, guys. I can't believe that Gong Su Yuan. First he betrays Wei, then he turns around and names himself King of Yan. Such incredible greed! Has he no sense of shame? There's no It's Me guy. I believe he's just in, uh, in the shoe story. Ciao. Hey, what's with the sour face? I've already made all of the necessary preparations. Hmm. Fine. I suppose it's not like this battle is going to last very long anyway. I like how just saying his son's name, he sounds pissed. Zhao! <laughs> See, that's that's probably too strong of a war fan. That's, uh, it's the very first stage. I'll use the basic one. And it's got a skill I haven't unlocked. But the save file, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, where's the other one? Probably further up. There it is. All right. Tell me, son, what do you think of the one known as Gong Soon Yuan? He is nothing more than a mere fool. This battle is as good as won. However, I have a feeling that it will not be long before chaos rises again. Wu has united around Sun Chuan. However, Wei and Wu have lost many of their heroes and have been weakened for some time. I forgot Sun Juan's still alive. The balance of power has shifted. It is only a matter of time before someone fans the flames of rebellion. Very perceptive, my son. Indeed, this world has taken a decisive change for the worse. Let's go. 
I wish to bring a quick end to this battle. I like how Simi Yi just doesn't really look any older than his sons. Doesn't seem worth the effort. Sometimes you have to fight battles that are dull, my son. Responsibility demands it. <laughs> I do like how they're both complaining about how boring this is. <laughs> the laugh. Such a satisfying Muso. I thought I could get up here. This battle's a real waste of time. We could beat these guys in our sleep. Looks like those cowards yeah, I think they want the me to go around the side. If I remember the stage correctly. Oh nope, so I gotta take these areas. Father, what's the matter? I realize our enemy today is hardly worthy of your attention. Because I was just remembering the times I fought Juga Leon. Back when I had opponents, I needed to think to beat. <laughs> true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. CBE has just adopted a no-brain strategy for this battle. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Oh, I guess that's not going to open. Or is it? Is it just taking too long to open? There it is. I bring news. An enemy unit is on the move. Which I still need to go around to reach that place. And just like that, they break down their defenses. Keep drawing the enemy south. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. <laughs> I have no idea what congeniality even does. Or if I said that correctly. But I have it now. Okay, now the agenda changed. I'm already fighting him, so... How surprising how long the Gungsons stuck around, even after Yuan Chao took out Gungsun Zan. At least getting close to Shahobad triggered a line. I like how there's like four guys fighting one officer up there and they're getting wrecked. Someone brought up Conquest Mode. I'm not sure if I'm going to play that or not. Because it does have some unique stages, but they're usually really short. They're more like half stages or quarter stages, and I did not mean to aim over there. I feel they'd be more boring than anything. But maybe I'll do that and just knock it out in a day or something. I still intend to play Legend Mode after this. Which Legend Mode should be a couple of streams. It's a bit annoying when the grab doesn't hit who you want it to. That's the main problem with grab moves, though. 
has gone on long enough. Strike from the east. Hell oh, yeah, I hope I and Josh, you got the same voice actor. Is he voice anyone in Samurai Warriors? Uh, what's is Yoshimoto? Oh, and Mitsuhide. Both in Samurai Warriors 3. Not in Warriors Urgy, though. Honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to stream Legend Mode somehow. Because, uh... The battles where they, like, remade battles from previous games are kind of interesting, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> that would increase the length of it quite a bit. Especially playing both sides. Sushu. Another guy who has a name that sounds just like Juju. Or close to it anyways. And then generic way on. I forgot there was two of them. I know, I know. You need not worry about me, father. Yeah, I'll probably play conquest mode just to play the unique battles, even if they are short. That's like everyone's favorite line from the story mode. Or the start of, anyways. And that's where he's eight, and he gets to say it in the cutscene. Time to put this position to you. I don't know if that was a unique line or not. I don't think it was. Bye bye. Please, have mercy. I surrender. The fact that you instigated a revolt is not such a great crime. Your greatest crime was having the temerity to think you had the talent to do so. You, who were unaware of your own mediocrity, die. Curse you! Gotta love the flair to see me ye. This is what we are forced to watch while idiots erupt in hysterics. My own talents are destined to be wasted. The cunning of Suma Yi managed to eliminate Gong Soon Yuan. Not knowing the limits of his strength, he had turned his back on Wei and declared himself the King of Yan. Unable to control his anger towards this fool, Suma Yi was reminded of another man. The unparalleled tactician that had fallen at the Wu Jiang Plains, Zhuge Liang. Once his star had faded, the land had changed dramatically. Within Wei, Cao Rei succeeded Cao Pi as emperor and began a rule of greed and opulence. And Cao Pi just well, dies. Wu, <laughs> they watched the struggle between Wei and Shu. As they really just didn't do anything and strengthened their defenses. Meanwhile, determined to rebuild its strength, 
Shu remained quiet as it recovered. It feels like he dies almost immediately as soon as he takes power. It was then that Cao Rei of Wei died and was replaced <laughs> by the young Cao yeah. Fang. And then his son just followed in his dad's footsteps, but even better, he died even sooner. Wei General Cao Shuang and none other than Suma Yi. However, Suma Yi willingly gave up his authority and decided to retire instead. For he felt that dividing power between two people would only lead to chaos within the government. In addition, with Zhuge Liang gone, there were none who could match his intellect. See me, he's just done with it. So bored. Realizing this fact during his battle against Gong Sun Yuan, he later disappeared from the public eye. And so, as the lone authority of Wei, Cao Shuang moved to attack Shu in the hope of returning Wei to its former glory. Suma Yi refused to participate in this battle and dispatched his son, Suma Zhao, in his stead. It was a sign of how much he missed having a worthy opponent. Unquest of Shu sounds like a stage that should be saved at the end. It's the Batman. These ambush troops here. What that means, these supplies. <sighs> it's a little dark for map reading, isn't it? Who are you again? <laughs> my name is Dung Ai, my lord. I have had the honor of speaking with your father on several occasions. <laughs> is that right? I have something I wish to discuss with you, my lord. I don't really like how different Sima Zhao is from Sima Yi. What is it you want to say? Like, Sima... <laughs> he sounded really aggressive with that line. <laughs> like, Sima Shi is essentially just, like, Sima Yi 2.0. <laughs> He's like, what you'd get if you cross Sima Yi and Sao Pi. Forgive me, but would you be willing to speak to our lord on my behalf? Sima Zhao is definitely his own man, though. We have been short on provisions since our last... With a character arc. Our first order of business should be to find some nice, fertile land. The enemy is clearly reading our every move. We should prepare for a surprise attack. I suppose you already mentioned this to him and he ignored you. Well, he's not much of a listener. Even if it's coming from me, he's just going to say the same thing. Perhaps. But you're the only chance I've got. <sighs> How do I always get myself caught up in these things? Thank you, my lord. I wish you luck. <laughs> There's Dung Ai is just like, can you please convince our commander to not be such a dumbass? Oh hey, there she is. Lord Suma Yi is attempting to ascertain the abilities of Lord Sao Shuang. That is why I sent your brother to this battle, to report on Lord Zhao Shuang's behavior. Why do I always have to get stuck with these menial tasks? Lord Wong Su oh, you're just a lieutenant. But what is she doing on the field of battle? I believe Wang Yi is like the most popular female character. At least in the Dynasty Warrior side. Samurai Warriors, it's unfortunately now Tora. Unfortunately, we haven't seen much of her yet, since she was only added in, uh, in uh, Samurai Warriors 4. Uh, added in the main game in Samurai Warriors 4. I believe she was added in uh, one of the 3DS games. I think Chronicles 2nd. That was one that didn't uh, get an English release, so I haven't played it. Unlike the other games that didn't get an English release, that's on 3DS, so it's much harder for me to get a hold of and actually get on something that can play it. Especially when I don't like to emulate. It is an option, but it would definitely play pretty poorly for me. Alright, let's give Sima Zhao definitely a weaker weapon. That type of sword would just tear through the enemy.
Gave him one extra attack. My lord, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Ah, there you are, Suma Chao. I have an important mission for you. I want you to launch a surprise attack on the enemy supply base and secure provisions for our men. If I do, then our defenses here will be thin. I think it best if we prepare for an attack by the enemy and strengthen our defenses. You're not the first one to mention that to me. You must have spoken with Dung Ai. There is no way the enemy will try to attack us. They have no idea what we are up to. Enough. I order you to go and attack the supply base. That was wrong. Just like they won't attack us. I suppose I don't have much of a choice. This has all gone wrong, Dung Ai. Lord Cao Shuang wants us to raid the enemy supply depots. I apologize, but I am still worried that the enemy will spring a night raid. I hope they do. That it teach him. Come on, we'd better get moving. The supply depots are to the northwest. I do like that they have this battle to showcase, like, exactly why Sao Shuang needs to be disposed of. Speed and daring. Fine work, my lord. The supply depots are just ahead. Oh, is it? <laughs> All right, Super Shao's the yet attack. Where you just serve some enemy. It's great. This ought to make Lord Cao Shuang see sense. I guess we better go help out. Try just what do you think you're doing? Trespassers will be executed. And then the energy ball kick. Such a fun attack, I love it. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. That was almost too easy. Man, they really did just swarm the main camp as soon as we went out. One archer spawned Things down at the bottom of the cliff. For us. You're out here all alone? I welcome such carelessness in the ranks of my enemies. We must retreat. This is not the end. I feel like Wang Ping had increased defense. Probably because they didn't want you to kill him just instantly. They wanted to take a while before you could actually go back to help. Go high, just hanging out. Fight me now for glory. How could this be? It's as if your actions out there have cured me of all my ailments. For about five seconds, anyway. Damn, Wang Yi almost got taken. Or Wang Yuanji almost got taken out. I wouldn't do that. So what do you want to do? I don't know if she has any more lines in the stage, but try to keep her alive. I know that. All forces retreat. The enemy seems to be coming from the north. We must take the western gate and head south. You don't look fine. My lord, you needn't concern yourself about me, but thank you. Okay, this is the point she's supposed to be defeated, I believe. The skill you displayed on the battlefield is 
inspires us all to carry out our duty. This is our chance, men. Claim the head of the leader of Wei. Once both tries to be badass, but he's just he's just not. I like that the uh, the energy ball can actually go up, like it was on a hill or something. I cannot afford to die in battle. I shall withdraw for now. That was almost too easy. Just everyone telling me to murder once well. And here we have Yu Ying, so I imagine people are going to tell me not to kill. Why can't they all just come at once and be done with it? I served her to death. Nice. Could have said I rode her to death. That yeah, that sounds easy. better. Well, it well, doesn't, but that's the point. You have a positive effect on our <laughs> no interest in this one. Okay, never mind. Eh, I like her well enough. Okay, what about Xing Tsai? I'm sure a lot of people like her, or at least staring at her ass when they play as her. You have a grab, or is that okay? You just a wimpy little shield bash, that was it. I really don't remember her musos. I don't play as her very often. That was almost too easy. The night raid. The tenacious waves of attack. I'd say. They have quite the strategist leading them. That would be me. And I'm here to claim your head. I wouldn't say you're a strategist, my guy. I'm not really sure what you are. They do have sort of a dark side they use mod eye for, but it's really hard to notice. I think you're a bit too enthusiastic. You will learn to regret I think we see some hints of it in legend mode. In the main game, you really can't tell though. Just traded Musos there. Fortunately his ended first. They just leave them there, like, they don't finish them off. <laughs> well, it looks like we got away clean in the end. But the general may prove a problem. Uh, 
I suppose I should go and report on what happened to my father. He, he had like Most a peon sword equipped Lord. there as he ran by. You reminded me of your father out there today. What? Come on. Don't say things like that. Right. Let's move on out of here. He defeats the enemy with assured decision making and retreats by the safest route. It seems the Suma family is the only one that can reunite Wei. Oh yeah, I thought you'd appreciate the Don Duo emote. Uh, CBE's wife. <laughs> Everybody demanded the return of the country. Oh, does Badai actually die here? Okay. I could have sworn we fight him more. The army led by Cao Shuang to defeat Shu was unable to achieve any results. And now people saying we do fight him more. Okay. And Cao Shuang's reputation as a military commander was dealt a crushing blow. On the other hand, Suma Zhao's skillful retreat helped further the Suma clan's reputation as brilliant strategists. Cao Shuang was convinced that military action yeah, Dungai is massive. Way to its former He's a big boy. Range. And so he held a feast at the palace that lasted for several days. With this lavish banquet, he hoped to gain influence and power by winning over the hearts of the leaders and governing officials. However, his opulence began to put a strain on the coffers and accomplished little but to drain the country. <laughs> Ma Dai pulled into a reverse. What on death? <laughs> Just then, word arrived that Zhang Wei of Shu was preparing to invade Wei. The only way to meet this threat would be to depose Cao Shuang and replace him with Suma Yi. Oblivious to these calls from the people throughout his country, Cao Shuang continued to hold his feasts. As the misguided rule of Cao Shuang continued, Suma Yi sequestered himself in a mansion within Luoyang and refused to come out. However, there was a distinct gleam a close up on the eyes like that of a wolf stalking its prey. This was the beginning of a coup d'etat, a natural move for one of such cunning intellect as he. One of the best stages. You mean, he's too ill even to meet with me? Yes. Recently, he's begun to forget things. Frankly, I don't think he'll ever recover. Please give my regards to the general. By the way, where is the general right now? Yes. I believe he is out on a hunt today. Now, if you will please excuse me. Come, my son. Cao Shuang must be dealt with. I am not generous enough to allow such a fool to do as he pleases. Cao Shuang is still out hunting, father. He has no idea what's going on. We must secure the palace now. It is time to return power to the hands of those smart enough to wield it. All the peons get it about. At the castle gate. It will be useful when Cao Shuang returns. I do like how this is the same map as uh, Escape from Lu Yong that we had uh, in the Way Story at South South. But we're exploring, or we're starting at the bottom of it, which we never went to at South South. So it's the same map, but we're seeing a different part of it, so it makes it feel less repetitive than it is. Father, a messenger has been spotted running off to warn South Shuang. Yeah, I really wish my horse spawned up here. There we go. It's benefits will be obvious. Okay, where is said medicine messenger? Way over there. The mind shall vanquish the sword. We 
did it, Father. Messenger is no help. Bye. <laughs> Just trampled him. <laughs> Everyone waiting for CBE to say imbecile. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't said, the, said it yet. Oh yeah, let's upgrade skills. Yeah, not enough with the charge attack. Well, I'm probably not gonna check the screen again. So go ahead. Let's have an extended S string. All oh, right, I forgot horses can't enter buildings for whatever reason. Really, there's no reason to quit. There's a guard post here. What should we do, Father? Take it. The more pressure we put on the soldiers, the easier it will be to manipulate. I do love that simple and confident response. Take it. That string for the war fan is pretty good. Say the funny word, or I will overfeed my dog. That's that's quite a threat, aristocrat. <laughs> See, we will have to say it at some point. Maybe maybe he says it more than us. Where's eight? Kian is so close to being Sun Quan. We must tighten our defenses and keep from losing any ground against the enemy. <laughs> to retreat is not necessarily to lose. <laughs> All my drinking, hunting, carousing, it is all for the future of Wei! You understand, I have to be seen as a strong leader! What I understand is that you have proven yourself to be a most unworthy leader. For the future of Wei, I must eliminate such an incompetent leader. <laughs> he just runs. Stop Buy me some time. Activates a speed buff and runs. I know, I know. You need not worry about 
about me, Father. <laughs> this is a critical battle. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Say whatever lines you have. Everything I have done has been for the Empire. For way. I regret nothing. Then why are you doing <laughs> Like how he disappeared for that Muso. He is really adept at running away. I did. Know your place. Our men were coming together as one under me. His Highness knew that. <laughs> Imbecile. If you thought your conduct was unimpeachable, then why were you spying on me? You feared me because you knew you were wrong, right? You blind, misguided fool. Kill him. <laughs> if this game had a higher rating, blood would have splattered on the throne. Suma Yi could not forgive Cao Shuang. He was a fool that cared only about what others thought of him. Unfortunately, we had to settle for invisible blood. drive him down the path of indecision. And yes, he, he said imbecile once. Authority over Wei fell to Suma Yi. Gas just shouting, ONE! <laughs> Fearing for his life, Xiao Ba, a relative of Cao Shuang's, decided to plot an escape. Learning of his intentions, Suma Yi made his way. Aristocrat's to dog is safe. <laughs> Xiao Ho Ba will be heading for Shu. You don't wish us to give chase? No. The Shaho clan's achievements are well known. Killing him will bring unnecessary trouble. He sides with his father's killers ah, to save his own hide. <laughs> ah, I couldn't do it. Those mountains looked like they were farther away than they actually were. They're in proportion to the people that were running in the back. But whatever. The events following Cao Shuang's execution unnerved the leaders of Wei. Indeed, Suma Yi, now the sole authority over all of Wei, Only Dynasty Warriors 3 had blood. Uh, yeah, However, I think so. Too busy to do anything about From Suma Yi as well. Oh yeah, Dynasty Warriors 1 had blood. Carrying if you even the count that. The late Zhuge Liang, Jiang Wei of Shu, had resumed the invasion of Wei. Suma Yi sent his sons, Suma Shur and Suma Zhao, to go and deal with this threat. As they looked upon the Shu... Oh no, is there really no other point they showed blood the in the Warrior series? I guess not. I can't think of any anyways. Why would Father I feel like there is, though. Not battle? positive. Why did he send us instead? 
if you count Warriors or Legends of Troy, then there's a lot. These two brilliant young minds could not help but question their great father's choice. Would they find the answers they sought in this battle? <laughs> the sire of benevolence. Please end him. <laughs> I think he makes it out okay. Unfortunately. How could Shaho Ba simply defect to Shu like that? They are responsible for the death of his father. <coughs> what a deplorable state of affairs. <coughs> Please excuse me. Made sense Quo Hai would be the most fist. Especially friends with Zhao Yuan. Zhang Wei is a disciple of Zhuge Liang. We must keep an eye out for enemy plots. Tomorrow Warriors 1 has blood, yeah. A very small amount. When Hanzo stabbed Jikimura in the head. How dare you invade our oh, hey, when Key gets the power stamps. Time to send them back to where they came from. When Kin, whatever. The traitor Shaho Ba is amongst the enemy ranks. We must win this battle for the sake of Wei. Where are you off here in the back? Lord Wen Qin is capable enough in battle, but he's so unpredictable and wild. Okay. Oh, you're named. Lord Guo Huai has sworn his eternal allegiance to Wei. Others among us have not done the same. That strikes me as more frightening than the enemy today. Is this the first time we've used a rapier moveset? It might be. I was got a pretty powerful one to start off with, but I'm just gonna keep using it. Oh, that's a skill point up skill. Or seal, I guess. I was wondering which weapon had that. Just when I thought I had handled things at home, we are invaded from the outside. You have it wrong, Zhao. Father could have seized power any time he wanted to. That is why he was in such a hurry to slay Cao Shuang. It could only be so that he could prepare for a Shu invasion. So Shu is such a threat that we need to be concerned about them. Huh. Yes, they are. We must not let down our guard in this battle. Come, Zhao. We do not have a moment to spare. The Shu army must be eliminated. All forces, begin the advance! An enemy unit has been sighted to the southwest. From their numbers, I'd say they're a decoy. <laughs> Continue the advance. Who is the sexiest Dynasty Warriors character and why is it Don Vo? <laughs> well, I mean, just look at him. Like, come on. Do you really need more of an explanation than that? CBE has a very fun uh, ES attack. Figures off of his charge too. Why is Father not taking command himself? Rip your moves that is pretty terrible for crowd clearing, but uh, pretty good against officers, as basically as you'd expect from Rapier. Defense captain as a as an officer. They don't suspect a thing. All right, the charge one for the rapier is great. You just push someone. That's it. Ambushed. They're already 
All forces remain calm. Deal with the situation. The enemy outnumbers us. We should destroy the bridge and restrict their access. I like how I manually have to go over to the bridge. Like you couldn't just have some other guy do that. You will carry our honor across the land. Playing on PS3? Yes, I am. Uh, it's also available on uh, on PC, but you know why buy it on PC if I have it on PS3? Thank you, game. I'm aware I did that. There is an enemy supply depot to the northwest. If we secure it, it will damage enemy morale. Go ahead, take out these guys along the way. That was going slow. Like, the pushing is so unnecessary, but it's fun to do. Trying to make sure I got all the stat ups. I think I did. This area is now under my control. That's my favorite kingdom. Way. Though my favorite character is me. Of course, see me, she takes the extreme option. Welcome. My pets and I have long awaited your arrival. The enemy is using some sort of siege weapon. Our men are under fire. She calls the juggernauts her pets as if they're alive. Well, they showed up quick. Even now they fight on. The Shu army is more tenacious than ever. I'm concerned about Lord Guo Huai's health. Mind you, he always seems sick. There is no escape for you. And thank you for your concern, uh one G whatever your name is. I think his name gets says a lot, but I haven't heard it in a while. Probably go deal with Jehovah over there. I really rent through those arbalists. So many guys over there on the right. Father would be horrified. 
to know that his son would fight for the hated shoe. No, I don't understand. There is no escape. He'd rather that than see his beloved son die. The annoying thing is he's probably right. Who were part of the reinforcements that showed up? Eh, of course it'd be my die. Yeah, I'll go to him to see if uh, he has any lines. If there's just a bunch of generics, I'd have ignored them. Oh yeah, it was pretty satisfying to whack the Arbalus with the rapier. <laughs> like, it took them out so easily. I think we've met before. Well, I guess you and Simichi haven't. Wanna push you. The push is harder to aim than you'd think. Damn it, I wanted to kill him by pushing him. I'm already clearing out the whole map, I may as well take out the last few guys. Last one guy. Boring reason. <laughs> I shall reign supreme. Now where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I guess I need to pick up the legs. The Jin story really makes you dislike John Wei. <laughs> Maybe he could if he had a little help. <laughs> and Chao Ba. <laughs> well, why with the save? Just in time, my lord. Take care. John Wei and the traitor are here. Somebody go and inform our lord at once! Come on, we've lost us. There's no point in sticking around here. They know when they are beaten. That's... that's not a good reason to not shoot. I swore... to my lord... that I would never give up until we had built a land of benevolence! It's all right. It's okay. Did you see that? That tenacity? Our father has left us with a few issues left to solve. Uh, why must people cling to their outdated ideals so stubbornly? Yeah, Zhang Wei just sort of goes crazy. <laughs> Like, he really does become the, like, stereotypical, just benevolent, crazy guy. 
God, please go away. Nice aim. <laughs> Aristocrat's still <laughs> counting. <laughs> we had a benevolence counter for the last stream, and he's still going up. <laughs> All the times benevolence was said. The Emperor of Wei, Cao Fong, was deposed. It was the result of a devious plot cooked up by Wang Ling following his attack on Wu. His aim was to depose the young emperor and replace him with an older one in order to reduce the Suma clan's influence within the court. Suma Yi's decision was swift. He quickly prepared his troops and set out to strike Wang Ling, who resided in Shou Chuen. Unlike Shu and their repeated invasions, Wu had spent the past few years quietly building their strength. And they now hungrily awaited an opportunity to invade Wei. Of course, Suma Yi was too clever to allow Wu an opening. Though he knew that none could match his intellect and cunning, he decided to trust his instincts and quickly set off to eliminate his foes. Have a benevolent striking game. Thought about it before, but they don't really say benevolence once until Zhuge Liang appears on screen. Then it comes up a lot more often. Yuanji, you're a wise young lady. Do you not grow tired of listening to Zhao all the time? Well, if anything, he's not boring. And besides, you know as well as anybody, he is who he is. <laughs> Indeed he is. I'm happy to see you two getting along. You... you don't look so well. Uh, please forgive me. I spoke out of place. I don't know, he looks pretty good considering his age. Isn't he supposed to be like 70 or something now? Apparently, Wang Ling was a somewhat decent ruler. However, he let that go to his head. In order to depose the Emperor and put a new one in his place, Wang Ling must be desperate to seize power. What are you doing off in the corner? Oh, look, a mushroom. Okay. <laughs> it would seem that Wong Ling has not forgiven you for seizing power, father. <laughs> and I imagine he fancies himself a much better choice to wield that power. I have neither the time nor the inclination to deal with insignificant fools such as him. Pretty sure this is the last stage we play of CBE. So I guess we're not gonna get his full move set. Oh well. Extra move so bar, why not? Oh, his weapon's upgraded. Ah, it's fine. The enemy is taking up a defensive position. Additionally, Wu appears to be readying an attack of their own. Almost certainly. Wang Ling has formed an alliance with Wu. We simply need to attack swiftly before their reinforcements can arrive. Father, why do you continue to support Wei? You do not need to attack Wang Ling for their benefit. You are capable of so much more, father. You could even seize the land if you so desired. I am not motivated out of loyalty to Wei. I simply cannot stomach the presence of imbeciles. Especially those that desire authority beyond their abilities. Nor can I stand a world that would suffer such fools. Come, sure. We shall bring a swift end to this pointless battle. Small skirmish has been sighted up ahead. An internal squabble. Perhaps? Yeah, there's another on the uh, imbecile counter. Maybe someone wishes to stop Wang Ling's rebellion, or perhaps they are fleeing in fear. Is 
My father loves Wei, but his love has clouded his vision. Allow me to talk to him, to make him see sense. Very well. Come with me. Father, I don't believe Wang Ling can be convinced. You need to make a statement and execute his son. <laughs> I am not expecting Wang Ling to affect his son. But seeing his son try to bring disorder to his ranks. You are a smart boy, but you lack flexibility. Watch and learn while you still can. I do like how CBE doesn't like dismiss uh, executing him for the obvious reasons. Like, oh no, that's wrong. <laughs> that's not the kind of family this is. It's like you're playing as a bad guy, but portrayed in a good light. Much better than Dazzle Warriors 5 CBE, where he's just straight up a villain. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Just as we thought, Wang Ming has made a deal with Wu. I thought they would take longer to arrive. It would be wise to get rid of them first. Hello, Ding Fing. We're going to be seeing you a lot. I shall do my best to follow your example. One Muso took out most of them. Probably should have seen if Ding Fing had any lines. Oh well. You know, CG is stretching for worthy rivals if he's going after Jugalion's nephew. Your uncle was the only man who ever matched me in battle. I sincerely hope that you are not an embarrassment to him. Once I defeat you, my name will be as known as that of my uncle. You fight with spirit, but I will stop you like an ant. Be gone. Yeah, basically all the guys that came after, like, in the later era of the Three Kingdoms, they all just kind of sucked. <laughs> Red Masu, basically. <laughs> Hoping that would hit him on his way down, but oh well. This rebellion will only serve to strengthen you. It's not too late. We have to talk some sense of the father. It won't work. There's no stopping him now. Indeed, I shall do my best to follow your example. All right, I'll keep the two Wongs alive. To see if there are any more any more lines with them. My own son. This rebellion is only helping you. If you truly love Wei, Father, you will surrender. If you do not stop soon, you will one day destroy Wei. It is too late to go back now. Oh boy, the guy we're currently fighting lost morale. No matter how many I defeat, Still more dullards rise to challenge me. 
I will not have the time to finish this. Wang Lei was slain, and the Wu forces had no choice but to retreat. Sima Yi's influence increased greatly, and the kingdom of Wei largely fell under his control. And just as quickly as he seized power, Sima Yi took ill. He had been hiding his poor health for years, despite participating in countless battles. Enemies, allies, even his own family, he had fooled them all. It was a fitting end to one of the Man, how does Guo Hai end up outliving him? The, the guy that's coughing all the time. Come to think of it, the last few years have been spent consolidating our rule. What's more, father has moved with an uncharacteristic sense of haste. He had us both fooled all along. <laughs> <laughs> my time here is done my son you must lead in my place use it as you see fit you are just leaving it all to me well if I know you at all, you're excited by the prospect. I won't deny it. There is none more qualified than myself to lead way into the future. <laughs> Just make sure that you walk the right path. You love the quick foreshadowing with Simishi tossing the sword the to Zhao. The strategist Suma Yi passed away. Control of Wei fell to his eldest son. Also, Simi Yi just has a very menacing face when seen from the right angle. The firm foundation of rule set by the Suma clan served just to bring This default face is menacing. The winds of chaos that had swept the kingdom for years. <laughs> CBE dies days. by laughing. <laughs> and a peaceful quiet return. He laughed one too many times. All those musos were killing him. However, the lands to the south were soon shaken by a new tragedy. In Wu, Sun Quan, the last of the three kingdoms era rulers, passed away due to illness. The Wu Chancellor Sun Quan did nothing. As well, and Lu Chun also hasn't done anything. Throughout the land. The time had All arrived. died off screen. When Suma Shur learned that Sun Quan's successor was a young, inexperienced boy, he decided to launch a military campaign against Wu. Commanding the forces was his younger brother, Suma Zhao, as well as Juga Dan, among others. On their way to the Wu territory of Jianye, the Wei army engaged the enemy on the fields of Dongxing. People near and far watched earnestly as the first battle of the post Suma Yi age unfolded before them. That day, the spirit of Jugadan of Wei was without equal, soaring to the heavens. Now that one of the fan people died, we get to play as another fan man. and bury the Wu forces. Yes, yes sir. sir! For you, General, we would give our very lives. Yeah, their faces look terrible. Ugh. Hmm? Lord Suma Zhao does not appreciate the gravity of the situation. He is so different to his cool, calculating brother. I must prepare for battle. 
that moment when you're staring at someone from across the classroom and they actually notice, and you're just like, oh god. Because it's just the immediate knee-jerk reaction of everyone. Just what is he thinking? Allowing a woman like you to take to the battlefield. <laughs> a woman. <laughs> I shall take that as a compliment. I can see why everybody considers you such a gentleman. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Now, if you'll excuse me. He really has no idea how to talk to people. Worry about me. I am here on my volition. <laughs> he really is just the antisocial kid that just doesn't know how to speak to people. You needn't worry. I am positive that Lord Suma Chao must have some sort of plan. Perhaps you should go and talk to him. He simply isn't the type to concern himself with much of anything. I doubt we could have any kind of meaningful conversation. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think Jigadon is the only person that's been like, what is a woman doing on the battlefield? The se it's a shame Soon Chang Cheng is already dead. <laughs> the one person that could have given her justification for her Muso quote, or officer to be quote. Lord Sure is an intelligent and capable leader, but I find his younger brother to be a bit too easygoing at times. Yeah, Shang Cheng and the crowds are dead. Lord Suma Zhao as our leader. I imagine, anyways. Although I guess all we can do about it is simply go out there and do our best. We, I don't think we even saw the two cows, did we? In Wu's story. I don't think they ever showed up. Lord Suma Shur is an intelligent and capable leader, but I find his younger brother to be a bit too easygoing at times. I'm worried about Lord Suma Zhao as our leader. Although I guess all we can do about it is simply go out there and do our best. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anyone else here. And just barely enough points for the full moveset. Well, aside from the moveset. So, the embankment is protected by two castles? Surely we only need to take one of them. You only wish to attack one? But then you will need to constantly be on the lookout for an enemy pincer attack. How could you concentrate on the battle? There is no way your troops could keep up their strength. Uh, why do people always insist on doing things the hard way? So you would rather risk the lives of your own men than do something that you find cumbersome? A good leader must put his men at ease so that he may bring out the best in them. Okay, enough already. I'll leave it all up to you. Do whatever you want. Super Zhao is so much taller than Jigadon. It's the nerd talking to the Understood. jock. I shall go and lead the advance myself. And then the nerd tries to do some physical activity and then just fails horribly. Don't understand what Suma Zhao is thinking. My lord, Lord Suma Zhao cannot be relied upon. We will have to repel the Wu army on our own. I don't know why I'm making all the school parallels to this. I'm afraid you're right. Come then. We will begin by securing the western castle. We have faith in you, General Juga Don. We will follow you to the ends of the earth. I like how the chat was just quoting, or at least was perhaps quoting lines from, uh... Okay. <laughs> from other games that, uh, Juga Don's voice actor is voiced in. Let's see, he voiced Shido in Persona 5, uh, Zasso Mel in Soul, Cal uh, Soul Calibur. That's one of my favorite roles for him, mostly just because I like Zasso Mel. He's done a bunch of other stuff, those are just the uh, ones that stick out to me. Show 
the enemy no mercy. The one with the most guts will win this fight. Just reached another level of brilliance. Stand your ground. Feel the power of my lightning. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. Yeah, he's Silver Saint. That's his name. Saber and FE Shadows of uh, Valencia. That's like the one FE, or one modern FE, that I haven't really played all the way through. I, I wasn't into it. Mostly I got bored on the the whole two-party system and on the map screen. Because it was essentially guaranteed I had to keep doing uh, a bunch of boring generic battles against enemies. They just progress both groups up on the map, and that just got real tedious for me, so I just Lord stopped playing. No sign of moving at all. What did he even come here for? I'm glad they didn't make another one like that. I guess I need to pick up the pace. Oh, and I have the new Fire Emblem now, Fire Emblem Engage. I just I haven't gotten around to playing it yet. I actually wanted to stream this weekend, but uh, I ended up being busy. They won't be able to move a muscle in there. Hate not having the time to do stuff. Urgently. Had an issue with the plumbing around the house because there's always something that goes wrong. But when something goes wrong, it's always like in twos or threes. So when the mic broke, I knew something else was going to break. And it turned out to be the fights underneath the house. So that was a whole ordeal to get a plumber out here and fix that. I thought I jumped off the horse. Well, I prefer Jigadon in Dynasty Warriors 8 or Dynasty Warriors 7. Definitely 8. Him and Shahobar are both better than 8. Because they actually can have, like, an arc <laughs> in those games. Thanks to the what ifs. Well, maybe not necessarily an arc, but just not guaranteed to be assholes and be enemies all the way to the end. Really somebody I can depend on. Thank you. Victory is all but ours. Only the eastern castle remains. Follow the general. How about Win Ken? I really don't care. He's a generic. <laughs> Impressive. I suppose this means I need to get out there and do something too. Technology does hate me, yes. Engage is good. Okay, it's good enough. I might play it later today once this is over with. Depending on how tired I am. CBE may be dead, but his voice lives on. Oh yeah, it'll be amusing when we get to Dice Warriors 8 and there are four different characters all voiced by Kyle Bear. And there's one stage they all show up in. I like to call it the Battle of Kylie Bear. <laughs> Do you have something to say, my lord? By attacking two castles at once, we will weaken our position. What's more, the river may force us to split our forces. If you know that, then why not tell Jugadon? Uh, why bother? You should bother. It's what a ruler does. These 
soldiers are looking to you for guidance. This is why I hate having all this responsibility. All right then. You <laughs> know. Wang Yi, uh, Wang Yi Wang Yi just has to do it herself. He wanted to call her Wang Yi for some reason, maybe just because it's easier to say. Right, first time we've used the throwing knives. Yeah, I recall the knives being a uh, pretty good. Save those that aren't already dead. If only they thought before they moved. I guess we can go and rescue them first, huh? He has such talent, but he doesn't seem to want to use it. I wonder if he will ever achieve true greatness. <laughs> Well, no, they're probably fine, and it seems like Jao is going there. Just head straight for Jigadon. Can I just go in the water? Let's see, is there a spot I can go up? Looks like it. You're not leaving me to die back there. So you're my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Time to meet out your I actually think I like Terra Platt's uh, performance as Wangi Wangi, as opposed to the other voices I've heard her as lately, like Edelgard. He speaks a bit softer. I don't know, it's more appealing to hear. To me, anyways. Yeah, the throwing knives don't have any knockback to their attacks. Although they do pierce enemies. Not having not back can be a bit of an issue. It's kind of hard to, you know, stop the enemy. But I believe charge attacks do have knockback. So you just kind of have to time it well. Terra Platt's older, Kaiji too. Yeah. I know Kaiji is, like that. I mean, I guess time passes the same for both of them, but. <laughs> Kaiji definitely sounds younger as Sima Jiao here. From what I'm used to hearing him as nowadays. God, I swear 7 still doesn't feel as old as it actually is. Not to me, anyways. Yeah, fine. You have no one to watch your back. Then die. Well, I've still got to escort him, don't I? Oh, he's just ignoring the enemies. Okay, that works out then. I'll just ride over here. 
But I'm smart enough to go across the water. Yeah, I'm... He may have done some other roles before this one, but, uh... I'm pretty sure Sima Zhao was, like, the role that, like, Kaiju Tang started to stand out from afterwards. It wasn't until Dynasty Warriors 7 that I started to hear him in, like, everything. introduce you to Kaiju. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it is for everyone. <laughs> if you didn't do anything else for Dynasty Warrior 7, it wasn't a very big name. Now he's done so many things, I can't keep track of it. I think it was also one of the first video games Josh Burrell did, Simu Shi's voice actor. Like, I remember whenever I tried to look him up, like when it came when I saw like the video game credits, I only saw Dynasty Warrior 7. And some uh some, like goblin football game, I think. <laughs> he just had those two credits in the video games. And the rest were anime. Fall back, men, before you're all killed. You, Angie, you've rescued us all. You're quite remarkable. Thank you. But you need to stop being so lazy. You're so talented if you put your mind to it. Time to meet enemy reinforcements. I got those guys chase me down all the way from the right side of the map. Now need to run to Yugadan. You have proven yourself a raving beast. Now I shall cage you. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. They really do make you run back and forth across the entire map at this stage, don't they? I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. So you Jeez, you get down to almost. Oh, well, he's at half health, he's fine. Imbecile. Yeah, there's a lot less imbecile talk in this game than uh, in Dice Warriors 8. I think we're at 2 or 3 on the counter right now. Way lower than I thought it'd be. I thought CBE said it a lot more before he passed away. Now we're probably not going to hear it very often. So this is what one with ability is capable of. I hope to eventually come even just a step closer to you someday. Oh yeah, Kaiju Tang did voice uh, Kintro, didn't he? In Fist of North Star. Specifically, Kim's Rage 1. Uh... Kin's Rage 2 didn't get a dub, which was very disappointing. Despite the, uh, there's actually a trailer for Kin's Rage 2 that uses 
the lines from Rao's voice actor, like his English voice actor. So that was very misleading. And there's another Fist of North Star game that came out uh, exactly recently, but Lost Paradise, that was it. That's got a different voice actor for Kintaro. I don't know who voices him in that game, I haven't played it. It'd have been cool if... Please get off the... off the pose. Boo. Thank you. It'd have been cool if Kaiju was able to reprise his role as Kintaro for that game too, though. how one guy for Wu is just staying tucked away in that castle. And just Moose so spamming when there's so many, I mean... Yeah, Wanju Wanji builds up her Musa really fast. In Warriors Archie 3, she builds up uh, the Trinity Gauge really fast, too. I remember that being something she really had in her favor in that game. Alright, that's all finally taken care of. Of course, I guess they're not moving up until the game catches up. Okay, there we go. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. What a disaster. I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. Rubby Damon was Kintro in Lost Paradise. Okay. I've seen the name before. I can't think of any particular role I've seen of his. There's Leonchi. Wonder when she'd show up. Who basically just has two uh, Muso officers they can actually utilize. Ding Fing and Leonchi. I like how Leon Chi is a little bit cheeky. Don't see much of that side of her. Grass at 25k subs. Oh, thanks. I actually didn't even notice. <laughs> I don't really keep up with how many subs I have. It's not exactly a victory, but it's something. But hey, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to- God, kill me. I hate that shit. Thanks to the efforts of Suma Zhao and his allies, the Wei army was able to avoid total annihilation. With the momentum on his side... <laughs> Leon Chi, my wife. Kerr, <laughs> like how CBE's wife says game. that. <laughs> and he surrounded the new castle at Hefei, where the Wei army had taken refuge. With their backs against the wall, Suma Zhao and Juga Dan requested reinforcements from Suma Shur. Leading a single unit, Suma Shur broke through the Wu army's blockade and entered the castle. Once inside, he gathered... <laughs> Leon Shi, biggest boost? And uh, for a fight most to likely, yeah. Against Wu. His superior intellect had been a source of pride, even for his late father, the famed Suma Yi. <laughs> I will guard the, the spot with my life. Also, Leon Chi, <laughs> go easy on me. <laughs> ...that would drive history itself forward. <laughs> Leon Chi's just having fun. <laughs> 25k hours, that's where's 9 train. That's not happening. Alright, you, you decided that on your own. It's not gonna happen. In the last battle, 
It was like the hearts of our allies were in two different places. Lord Suma Zhao and Jukadan are the leaders. If they can't come to some kind of compromise, then there's no way we can. However, now everybody is united beneath Lord Suma Shur. I am confident that we will not lose again. <laughs> Please remind me to subscribe later. You know what? Maybe. However, now everybody is united beneath Lord Suma Shur. I am confident that we will not lose again. Wu lost their emotional leader in Sun Quan. However, it does not seem to have affected their sense of unity much. <laughs> Aristocrat will unsubscribe if I don't uh, do an encyclopedia stream. You know what? Maybe someday. Wu is united I did actually kind of have fun reading it. That one time I did. It was a difficult pursuit, yet we had to continue without rest. I only read the start of the story. Like, I think I read the Yellow Turban Please stuff, and that was it. I promise to win back your trust in the next battle. And found some typos in the encyclopedia that we were reading. <laughs> I don't remember what game I read that for, but probably avoid reading from that one. If I do ever do an encyclopedia stream. Suddenly get a new rapier? I guess so. Jugadon, Zhao. I am not here to place blame on either of you. However, I cannot forgive you losing to the same opponent twice. You are both to come and serve under me. Now go out there and redeem yourselves in this battle. Yes, brother. Understood. I will not let you down. Let's go. Go out there and show me you can handle the responsibility. Expel the intruders from the castle. Drive them back. Oh yeah, this is just straight up. That's where six uh hey Bay Castle. Oh, come on, really? All right. Invisible walls. The worst. What's my favorite game series is not counting, not counting Dynasty Warriors. Well, Dynasty Warriors isn't really, even really up there for me, honestly. <laughs> I've played too much of it over the years. If I were to never play Dynasty Warriors again for the rest of my life, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> uh, but favorite series, Devil May Cry. I've always loved, uh action games in like the style of Devil May Cry and uh, the original God of War series. So, uh, Fire Emblem is really up there. I wouldn't say Final Fantasy is a series, but there are certain Final Fantasy games I really love. Ten in particular. I wish they'd just make another game like Ten. I don't know why they just haven't done that. Because they got no problem re-releasing it like 1,500 times. That threat would be more intimidating if you actually stop the fight meeting thing. Yes, I pushed them to death. <laughs> they just sort of fall over if you do that. Difficult trying to live up to you, brother. The enemy has taken the eastern castle gates. The enemy is moving as expected. Wait for them, then crush them. The ram hanging out here. 
Brother, I have received an indestructible ram. They are progressing unimpeded. I was just following your lead, but I think it went quite well. Mm, I probably should have stayed up and just gone around from the north, but oh well. Heck <laughs> yeah, fellow FFX enjoyer. Well, I mean, there's a ton of us. <laughs> a lot of people like it. Dante or Virgil? Uh, Personality-wise, Dante. Gameplay, Virgil. But I really like both. All right, let's be pilot one of these things. All right, sure, why not? The weapon you requested is ready. I go attacking with this. Upgraded my weapon, and it's broken. <laughs> Those are so worthless. Like, who even cares? of the enemy army has made its move. It is time to give your orders, brother. Send word to the western unit. Break down the main body of the enemy army from the flank. So you're trying to think of other game series I enjoy. I really like the Hyperdimension Neptunia series. It's not particularly good, gameplay-wise, but, uh... I've just always enjoyed playing it. It's a very relaxing game. Well, series. The officers of Wu are but mindless drones. Camera? Okay, there we go. Forces. Now is our chance to strike. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. But I include DMC2 and D lowercase MC. I would ever stream the series. DMC2 I'm fine with. You will carry our honor across the land. Like, it's definitely not great, but I don't hate playing it. D, lowercase m, C? Eh, uh, I'd probably skip that one. I've beaten it before just because it was a Devil May Cry game, technically. And also to justify my hatred towards it. <laughs> and I just don't think I'd enjoy replaying it a second time. Play Chaos Legion. That's a PS2 game, right? A guy with red hair. I think I tried playing it at one point, but I just I didn't get into it. What about Crash Bandicoot? It's okay. I played it a lot as a kid. I played all three of the main games as a kid. I don't think I beat any of them though. I'm not really in the platformers anymore though. Nowadays when I play a platformer, I just get annoyed whenever the jumps are too hard. I will say the best thing that uh, D lowercase M C added was uh, the additions to Virgil's move set. Like a lot of the attacks he got in Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition were carried over from D lowercase M C, where he was playable in the DLC. And of course, the whole doppelganger thing was taken from that. I play the RE4 remake. Yeah, definitely. I already have it pre-ordered. This is all you have. Yeah, this comes out in March, I think. <laughs> Dowsy Warriors really loves these drive-by rescues. Brother, I. Uh, sorry about that. Tell me, Jao. What does it mean to you? to hold high rank. What? Uh, well, actually, it means nothing. Then discard it. 
that will be the punishment for your failure. I will punish the Suma and let Yuga Dawn off scot free. And this integrity will prove invaluable in building my machine. Father told me to use power as I see fit. I intend to aim for the top. Such a great cutscene for Simushi. The efforts of Sumashur and Hofei would sweep. Oh yeah, there's a new Neptunia game that's uh, coming out, isn't it? Yeah, I think in a few days actually. I think in the 27th. Yeah, I have that pre-ordered, but uh, I gotta wait for it to get delivered because I ordered the uh, like the special edition or whatever. Uh, how am I gonna play that and Fire Emblem Engage at the same time? What a game to come out at the same time. <laughs> he loves Gunbuster, a man of glass, truly. <laughs> It was then that Zhang Wei led Shu to rise up once again and strike at Wei. For in the eyes of Zhang Wei, Wei was still a villainous entity that stood in the way of a world of virtue. Ambition, virtue. Shu fought for ideals rather than the tangible. Oh, it's already out? Uh, I may have just been looking at my, my order date. There could be nothing more because I generally don't pay for like the express shipping or whatever, so it's probably just going to get delivered to me on the 27th. And several of his best troops to but a stream will long fall in Dynasty. I don't know. I really wasn't into the demo. Was about to come crashing down on the pathetic shoe forces. Ah, we finally get to say play as a sick, feeble old man. With a gun. <laughs> Lord Dung I, I just wanted to say <coughs> You cannot fight in this state. Lord Xiao Yuan did a lot for me in the past. But when he was killed, I was unable to repay that debt. So I have to keep Wei safe. It was the only thing he wanted. <coughs> There's a bit of a disconnect between, like, his movements and his English voice acting. His Japanese voice actor, Gohais, is a lot more, uh, almost comedic <laughs> with how he emotes. Uh, the English one takes himself a lot more serious, and I, I definitely prefer the English one. Also, the English one's costs are way more convincing. Zhang Wei's desire to protect Shu borders on obsession. That kind of man is dangerous. Yeah, and that's really what sort of kills Zhang Wei as a character once Jen starts. He just gets obsessed. Is that so? I find that I can relate to such a man. I'm sure he simply wants to repay an obligation to somebody close to him. Out of obligation? Is that what drives him to do the things he does? Also, I like how, uh, despite Dungai's appearance and his, like, gruff speech and all that, he's actually very caring. Like, Guohai waltz up and he sees him coughing and he's just like, You cannot fight like that. <laughs> Shaho Ba is still our enemy for betraying Wei. However, he is General Shaho Yuan's son. My sole duty is to protect the Kingdom of Wei, even if it means facing the son of our former friend. No, that is why I must do it. I must slay him for the sake of Wei. That's the spirit, Lord Guo Huai. We're with you all the way. I'll do whatever I can to help too. I am glad to hear it. <laughs> oh, forgive me. Yeah, I don't know if there's actually a reason why they made uh, Gohai sickly or not. Maybe someone in chat knows. 
Maybe he was sickly, like, uh, in history or something. We are in a time of change. New heroes are being born. If you say so. Oh, thoughts on, uh, Bayonetta? Uh, it's okay. I, I've only played the first one. The second one, like, I had a lot of trouble just getting around to playing it. Because for the longest time, it was only available on the Wii U. And, you know, it's not much reason to play the Wii U. Which I own and have used to play video games before. But even owning one, it's hard to convince myself to actually set it up. Uh, skills, that's what I'm looking for. But uh, I enjoyed the first one, but uh, not that much. I think the main problem was I just didn't really care for Bayonetta herself. Like, I didn't like her half as much as I liked Dante. I wonder if Lord Suma Zhao is okay. It has been quite a while since he went on ahead. I don't know. Although we should get going ourselves pretty soon. I bring urgent news! Lord Suma Zhao! He, he's been attacked by the Shu army and is surrounded! What? Where is he? He's at a garrison to the southwest of here. Lord Guo Huai. Yes, we must hurry to Lord Suma Zhao's aid. Lord Suma Zhao needs our help. We must send troops to the southwest. <laughs> the power of gun. <laughs> One explosion kills like 20 men. I do desire nothing more than to protect the honorable kingdom of Wei. Like, he's technically shooting arrows, that's what the game says. But, I mean, look at this thing. Like, uh, let's see. I'll see info, move list, let's see. Okay, this doesn't mention arrows. I think it's in Dynasty Warriors 8, his air muso mentions it shoots an arrow. And this is his R1 move, so just Gatling gun the fuck out of someone and then fall over. <laughs> and then this one just has him drain the life out of someone. And it actually heals you too. This is not the end. Which I don't know how he's able to do that. I'm pretty sure that's never explained. He can just suck the life from people. The Musou itself is apparently called Vampire Palm. I guess he's a vampire. <laughs> he does have one of the most fun movesets, though. Just go nuts blasting. Men are on the verge of defeat. Hurry to him at once. Jeez, Sima Zhao. are already on their way. I shall see the child within our grasp. Fight me now! I do love the slow fall. And his EN's attack is just more Daka. Just keep blasting until you call. Zhang Wei just bolts. He's gone. I thought I was dead. Thanks a lot. We are both men of Wei. 
I need no thanks. We must hurry back to the main camp. Cool, I is such a nice guy. I must retreat. This is not the end. You are really somebody I can depend on. Thank you. <laughs> King Midong. <laughs> what a name. Uh, right in the midong. I see you're all right. You have to stop causing problems like this. Wait, wait, don't kill me. I surrender. I won't throw away my life for you. Just spare me, dong, please. the castle, Shu will surely surrender. My lord, the enemy continues to grow in number. Considering Shu's resources, they shouldn't be able to mobilize many more. You perpetuate the chaos without a thought for others. Let me stop now. I mean... That's quite a leap to go to jump to you, Ying. I'm gonna suck you dry because of that. I have survived much more difficult battles than this. <laughs> I do love the light push. After you drain someone. Just alright, done with you. I got the renegade and pacifist option and chose pacifist. You don't get it. It was Wei that tried to kill me. Or would you rather I say, I will kill you in the name of Shu? No, Paragon, that's what it was. Renegade and Paragon. It's been a while since I played Mass Effect. And I only played two. I really ought to play one and, and three at some so. point. If I know my father, he'd be smiling. Don't juggle the old man. That's not cool. He's sick, you know. I like how that tiny shove he does with his palm. Has such a massive shockwave that hits everyone around them. You will learn to regret this moment. Let's see what happens when he misses his grabs. Now let's push the attack. Okay, that was missing the uh, the regular grab. I shall give it my all. Probably missing the R1. <laughs> he still falls over. Nice. I don't know how much damage that's gonna deal. Just gonna save. Since I just used my Musos, I have no way to save myself in this uh, attack. Okay, Shadow Boss pathetic. Man, that was a really weak Muso. Like, wow. He's the weakest Muso I've ever been hit with. 
See, that's a Muso, Shelba. That doesn't mean I'm proud of it. I have survived much more difficult battles than this. I was reading through chat and it's one of Aristocrats post was my dad left me. <laughs> it's like <laughs> completely unrelated to the conversation. Do you really have it in you to kill me? That is the intention. Hard as it is. Then get on with it. What? I must say, that was a most unexpected turn of events. Cut scene, heroes. Shu, cannot afford to lose you. A man survived being sick for like 40 years, but cut scene, heroes, nope. I will hold them off! Lord Guo Lord Guo Huai! You're dead! Love that simple response. Just, fuck you. You're dead. Only Shu can unite the land. Wokwai's dying will must be carried on by us. We will bring victory to Wei. My lord, I shall bring it I swear them. upon my life, I will keep Wei safe. First time we've played as him, so let's actually upgrade him now. <laughs> I like Mage Knight's interpretation. But yes, Guo Hai is dead. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> it wasn't Ding Fing or it wasn't Dung Guy saying it to uh to Zhang Wei. He <laughs> was just saying it to Guo Hai. You know, in case not everyone was aware he was dead. My lord, let's finish them off. The enemy main camp is west of here. Uh, it's like that Mortal Kombat game, like, I think it was called Shaolin Monks, where, like, uh, some guy gets just impaled by Baraka and thrown across the room, and then Kung Lao bends down and just like, Are you okay? <laughs> you will go no further. I play a little bit of Mortal Kombat, not much. Mostly the older games. Oh, I didn't set up his weapons, did I? Oh, what a badass name, Helgor. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I love it. And also, I like how his weapon is just called Lance. <laughs> like, there's a lot more going on to this than just Lance. And a breaker arm. Such strength. Until next time when I can return stronger. And with a less broken arm. Oh, great, a ballista. True warrior indeed. Well, that was... I mean, it's just one. It's actually a lot more bearable. And the health bar isn't massive. Is 
considering that Also, yeah, being on the horse, you don't flinch, so that's a lot better. I mean, it does still stop your attack, but it doesn't send you flying, so that's already infinitely better. Where is... Oh, there's still one on the cliff. Alright, I'm going for it. I do wish the drill answers like charge attack felt. Oh, it does deal continuous damage. I guess it just wasn't hitting it full on. Alright, now I'll fight all these guys. The arm break is so strong. Your lance is actually a really good weapon. The main downside is that it just has slow attack speed. Alright, his E has attack is at the end of his charge six. The guy's first missile is alright. Good for when you have more than one target. We may have missed our opportunity to claim victory, but I will at least claim your head. The heavens have answered us. Thank you for coming to our aid. Wow! Alright, good job, generic. It always feels so weird when someone else can defeat the commander and win the stage for you. ...led him to success in slaying Guo Huai, but was ineffective against Deng Ai. Having defeated Wu and Shu, Suma Shi then turned his gaze toward domestic matters. Armbar, that's what the grapple is called, okay. He began to build his own military strength within Wei. Against him stood those that remained loyal to the Wei name. With him stood a new faction of those who supported his rule. The antagonism between them was almost palpable and worsened by the day. Around that time, Sua Zhao heard rumors of a plot to assassinate his brother. He hurriedly made his way to the court to warn his brother. There, he saw something shocking. He saw Suma Shur taking a leisurely stroll all by himself, completely unconcerned. Attack on Suma Shi. This makes me think of Attack on Titan nowadays. Now I'm imagining Mother. a giant Suma Shi peering over a wall. Rumblings of discontent afoot. You should not walk. Like Sumi Shi went on a leisurely stroll, but he's also like a hundred feet tall. <laughs> I love Wang Yanji laughing there. That's so cute. Right now, I am the only man fit to rule this land. But if there is one who can defeat me, I will gladly. Tibi Shi is like Sao P, but done right. He's putting the fate of Wei in the balance. If he is killed, Wei will rule the land. But if not, he will destroy Wei and rule himself. 
and yet he is so calm. He frightens me. Okay, weapons are fine. Right, let's upgrade this moveset. Still playing the ominous overture music. Hey guys, what's going on? Assassins from nowhere. I bet this assassin didn't expect to get uh, skateboarded today. Surfboarded? That doesn't sound as good. Let's see if Sima Zhao's R1 moves so. though. Alright. <laughs> he shoots the, shoots the finger at him. Uh, let's see, what is that attack called New Yu Hakusho? Spirit Gun? I think that's it. Yeah, he basically just does that. It's been a long time since I watched Yu Yu Hakusho. Just walking past the archers, who cares? Oh, who'd have guessed these generic ministers would attack us? I do enjoy Wang Yanji's praise line to Simba Zhao. Like, wow, you stopped being lazy for a little bit. Good job. <laughs> ah, blisses. That might do it. Oh, never mind. Oh, you're all fucked. Oh, I guess I have to defeat you first. Alright, now you're all screwed. Just cleared out the entire staircase. At least the ones that could appear on screen. And done. It's so satisfying, too. Come on. We might get to see the loyal man of Wei who's behind all this. At least it's broken guard. All right, they have to be standing up right for the grab to actually connect. That was almost too easy. I had no idea. 
Oh no, not in Minsters. Yeah, it is always disappointing we were just fighting random guys with no actual names. And damn it, Seamish out. You screwed up my grab by pushing him. <laughs> he tried to push him again. Seems Joe just asserting dominance with pushing. Is it me or is way weak? It is now. That kick just took them all out. So this is all you have. Hmm. Huh? Huh? <gasps> right across the face. Seems she is so fucking cool. <laughs> the mandate of heaven is with me. Having survived the assassination attempt, and though it's been a crazy amount of invisible blood pouring from his eye, conspiracy. he traced the lines that connected the officers who remained loyal to Wei and despised the rule of the Suma clan. The only reason Sima Shi survived that is because it wasn't a cutscene arrow. There's a cutscene sword, much more survivable. In response, Suma Shur deposed Cao Fang and immediately replaced him with Cao Mao. This hurried political maneuvering gave birth to more cries of outrage. Guan Xiu Jian, Wen Qin, and other officers loyal to Wei began to raise troops in Shouchuan. They rose in rebellion against Suma Shur. This would be the last struggle of Wei, the final throes of a dying kingdom. Determined to bring an end to Wei himself, Suma Shur marched towards Shou Chuen. It was then that Suma Shur could see it clearly. He could see the summit of his quest for power and the fate that had been promised to him. Too bad Zhang Liao didn't survive cutscene sword. Well, that was wielded by a main character, so that that buffed it up enough. It was strong enough to kill him. I can't believe it. I am fighting against Guan Xiu Jian and Wen Qin. They pledge their loyalty to Wei, not to me. They are trying to prevent an invader from usurping their kingdom. It is a most logical conclusion. Both of them are powerful opponents. We will be in trouble if we let down our guard. Oh yeah, now Simi Shi's wearing the mask. And the Wei troops, or I guess the troops on our side, are now donning, uh, like, teal-colored clothes. We're now officially Jin. Wen Qin has a son known as Wen Yang. He is even more powerful than his father. We must proceed with caution. He was almost powerful enough to be playable, but... Not this game.
And that's his second move so unlocked. I wonder. You mustn't try to do too much. You are one person we cannot afford to lose. <laughs> you need not worry about me. It's my brother you should be looking after. Let's go, Yuanji. Lord Juga Dog is already marching upon Jian's castle. We must deal with Wen Qin. We must first clear out the front lines. All forces. Forward. She's out. Huh. This is like the fusion between Sima Qi and Sima Zhao. Unfortunately, it's far weaker. They screwed up the, uh, the fusion dance. Youngsters have quite a reputation. I must retreat. This is not the end. <laughs> I shall reign supreme. When young in all his generic glory. There you are, traitor. Your head is mine. Well, I believe Ashley has the same voice actor. It's just a generic, the generic voice got to become a playable character. In Dance Warriors 8. We must retreat. This is not the end. <laughs> I shall the grin from his R1 Muso. It's a shame that whiffed, but I do love the startup. We must regroup and try again. There we go. Field inspires us all to carry out Funniest name in Dance Warriors, uh, Dong Tuna. I mean, come on, <laughs> you're not gonna beat that. Uh, there's also He Man so you are my next and King Me Dong, who we just met. Okay, there's the crab. Really fucking cool. Probably one of the best boosters in the game, and there's not even a line for it. He just grins. It's great. I guess the game wants me to go to the center. The yellow turban that thinks he's Yuan Chao. Yeah, Pei Yuan Chao. Just Yuan Chao's name with a Pei in front of it. Even better in the older games where the Yuan and Chao were separate. In the newer games, they stick those together. Same time, I guess. Oh, thank you, CBE's wife. Ten dollars. Come if you have what it takes to kill me. Nice.
Let's see, what other funny names are there? Uh, someone mentioned Bichu. Yeah, there's a Samurai Warriors character named Bichu. You suffer! You will be judged! Now, Win Young! My lord, are you all right? Shochu and Castle is ours! Leave the rest to me! Come, if you have what it takes to kill me. That's so great. Start dominance. <laughs> Got them both at the same time. When Chin is fleeing, shall I give chase, my lord? Leave him. We still have Guan Jiu Jian to defeat. Yeah, Mel Roar is really good. The name of this song. That's where Seven has so many good tracks. It seems they are led by Ding Fong. I suspected they might take advantage of this internal conflict. Blast them away! I love how it's got like the uh, the chanting in the background too that you hear for Jin. It's so great. The charge one push is actually pretty good for setting up for his R1 boost, though. I'm gonna make sure you grab an officer. Alright, he's still on our side. I mean what? Spoilers? No, never. The skill you displayed on the battlefield inspires us all to carry out our duty. You are quite the tactician. Your performance out there was simply an Oh, you're here. <laughs> Jean Kui just sort of shows up. Another ambush in the same garrison. There is no escape for you. Astounding. It's actually pretty smart. Set up a second ambush in the same place. No one would expect that. Dung guy is aware it's a cutscene arrow. He got lucky, he got saved because of the mask. If that hit his bare skin, dead. No coming back from that.
You must be soon here. I see the image of you. You're an imbecile. I can tell by your stupid face. <laughs> you would insult me? How dare you? Just looking at him, you can tell. The disrespect. <laughs> I shall reign supreme. Why must people fight for their outdated ways? Oh yeah, they put the imbecile counter at three. that cannot be controlled. Dunk Lee really does just show up. The enemy's ingrained loyalty, you mean? That and fate. My lord! The land just barely slipped from the grasp of Sumashur. For after quashing the rebellion led by Guanxiu Jian and Wen Qin, Sumashur collapsed in the middle of the camp. And just like that, the ambition and intellect of this talented leader were extinguished. Fate had snatched him from this world just when his star shined brightest. Brother, you fool! I thought I told you to defend Lu Yang. We really should have had a mwahaha counter. <laughs> I feel like that would be higher by now. <laughs> Power was transferred to his younger brother, Suma Zhao. During this transition, the remaining Wei loyalists used the opportunity to seek their revenge. The emperor of Wei, Cao Mao, demanded that Suma Zhao remain within Xuchang. It was part of a plan to strip Suma Zhao of his authority over the military. Surprisingly, Suma Zhao obeyed the command and remained within the city. For he was not yet ready to take on the duties and obligations of a ruler. 
Now that Wei had seized authority, Shu would surely move as well. Having learned of Su Mishu's death, Jiang Wei decided to undertake yet another invasion. Because of course he did. Hearing this news, Deng Ai, Zhang Wei, and their allies yearn for Suma Zhao to again take the reins. For only with the help of the Suma clan had Wei ever managed to successfully repel an invading Shu army. <laughs> Even the Emperor of That's Wei point. was unable to ignore this fact, and he allowed Suma Zhao to return to Luoyang. Released from confinement, Sua Zhao immediately set out with his troops to meet Jiang Wei's forces at Tao Shui. At last, he was finally prepared to deal with the expectations that his father, brother, and his allies had placed upon him. Well, it's a good thing you figured that out off camera. <laughs> Everybody is happy to see you back, my lord. You saw through Zhang Wei's strategies and turned back the Shu forces. I don't know of anybody else that could do that. I can see that I'm going to have to take matters more seriously from now on. Very well. Leave it to me. Seeing you there just now, uh, never mind. It should have been Zhuge Dan leading this battle. I'm sure the Emperor would have found him much easier to manage as well. But I... I could never serve beneath a guy like that. So, you mean to say you appreciate serving beneath me? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. You were stuck in Shu Chong all that time. If we hadn't done something about it... You really owe us one. I know, I know. Your command style isn't bad. At least compared to that Juga Don character. <laughs> Young Wei just sounds so stuck up. <laughs> we have been waiting for you, my lord. We need you in order to beat Shu. <laughs> Shintai has been in like every base. Got to be playable just due to the sheer amount of times he's uh, appeared. Sure, minor speed boost, why not? Double element. Oh, that one's really good. Yeah. <laughs> but it costs like the most skill points to buy. You can just hit someone with two elements at once. Yeah, it's pretty great. What are the battle conditions like? The enemy vanguard is approaching at incredible speed. They are nearly ready to overtake our units on the front lines. However, their main unit has not yet begun to march. It must still be making the necessary preparations. I see. We should set our plan in motion before they begin to move. In that case, you should attack from the center, while Lord Zhonghui and I attack from the east. That sounds good to me. Everybody, it is time to begin our advance. Let's get this started then, shall we? We'll march through the center and take out their main force. <laughs> Looks like I fell for their trap. I hate it when they do that. Oh, this is Wujang Plains, huh. But like, that's where we six Wujang Plains. It's weird this guy repurposes an entirely different stage. It was probably not the only stage to have had that happen. Fight me now for glory. That was almost too easy.
Oh yeah, I believe when he's doing this uh, Muso kick, you can sort of control the direction the ball goes. Yeah, you can move him a bit and send it like straight back if you wanted to. Alright, this caution. stuff. This is to our advantage. The enemy will never see us coming. Right, my lord. We should strike before the fog lifts. I'm serious this time. Ah, you did have to fall down, didn't you? Fine. Come down to smack you once. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. Actually, I guess I can just go up this way. The skill you displayed on the battlefield inspires us all to carry out our duty. <laughs> Suddenly fog of war, yeah. Fog of gore, okay. <laughs> Persona 5? No, it'd be Persona 4, that's the one with all the fog. Well, just hanging out over here. Where did you come from? Ow! Just blew him away. I didn't expect the finger bang to be that powerful. We have the upper hand. It is time to finish this off. Ambushing you, it's hardly careless. Come on, it'll take more than that to surprise me. You think the fog is covered. All this trick in the book. The skill you displayed on the battlefield inspires us all to carry out our duty. Give Shao Bao surfing. All right, done with you. This belongs to us now. He has to be a smart ass about it, too. Like, oh, the fog, I totally saw that coming. Why didn't you do anything about it then? One Muso is just a better version of his regular. Uh, kind of. The regular Muso has more range. Like, I do believe it's less damage, but that ball goes for a while. If you're just counting raw damage, then yeah. There are definitely some characters who just have certain Musos that are infinitely better than others, though. The remaining forces have no choice but to withdraw. Your decisiveness and courage have won the day. Yes, it's been very successful. <laughs> Move up our front line for me, will you? Yes, my lord. I will give the order. The fog is lifting. On the L why aren't you playable? You fight with spirit, and I will stop you 
I know the official reason is because Koei said they wasn't sure how to handle him aging. But they did it just fine with the It's Me guy. Just make him older. Not to mention a more practical example with Masayuki in Spirit of Sonata. Oh, they got our bliss packed over here. I'll have that miss. I must retreat. This is not the end. That was almost too easy. Any playable officers in the further back areas? No. No one important. A fire attack. Just what you'd expect from Zhang Wei. I'd expect it more from Lu Shun, but. That must be one of her generic lines if you if you approach Yu Ying without allies or something. Also to aid the Wu army? Alright, I didn't get a good look of all the other names they have. The Yi Jisa, Zhang Xiao, Kei Wu. Those aren't as fun as the last ones. them into the ballista. Or ballista, whatever. It seems I underestimated you, Suja. This battle is not over yet. I mean, when you're at the commander, it's pretty much over. So far, it's only been Claude and Fire Emblem that's acknowledged that. That when the player reaches a commander, the battle's basically over for you. I will never surrender. You still don't get it, do you? You can't win. It's a waste of time. That's that, then. You were most magnificent out there, my lord. Not that we'd expect anything less. My lord, you have earned this trust. And now, there is no one else for you to lead anymore. I'm ready, but you'll have to let me complain sometimes. Isn't there something else you should say first? Benji really is cute in this. Yeah, I can see why people like her now. <laughs> like I already His knew, just restored. seeing her first appearance again. Yeah, they do it really well. Army in an impressive display of strength. Also, I like that Captain showed up, and the first thing he says is mentioning drugs. Of, his father and brother. of course he does. In his place stood an ambitious young man who was ready to assume the mantle of leadership necessary to conquer the land. Meanwhile, the Emperor of Wei, Cao Mao, secretly approached Zhuge Dan at Shou Twin. Having connections to Wu, Zhuge Dan kept his distance from the other officers who kowtowed to Sumajao. 
Aristocrat wants to go to the Los Polos Hermanos. The two left over from the uh, I could really go for some chicken right now. Still remained unhealed. Saumau used their ill will to attempt to lure Jugadon to his side. He told them that there could be no better guardian of the Way Kingdom. Behind Suma Zhao's brilliant glow, there lurked a dark hatred for Wei. As tension gripped the land, Jiang Wei made his move. This new Shu invasion came unusually quickly after its previous attempt. Realizing that the enemy must be unprepared, Suma Zhao sent Zhang Hui and Deng Ai to deal with the threat. And so Shu attacked. Ignoring their lack of strength, struggling forth, fueled only by the dying wishes of their long-departed allies. Were they not still the common fools that had been so detested by Suma Zhao's father and brother? As Zhong Hui and the others headed for Duanggu, Suma Zhao began to realize he could see at last who was the real enemy that corrupted the land. The fourth Shu invasion. We're only on the fourth. Oh, I thought we were higher than that. <laughs> Our Lord has ordered us to observe the enemy. I will go and take a look. Wait just a minute. You're trying to steal all the glory, aren't you? It never crossed my mind, my Lord. Then you won't mind if I go. Thank you. At least he said thank you. Due to their countless invasions, surely the enemy cannot have had time to get ready for this battle. However, we are facing Zhang Wei. We have no idea what kind of plots he might have concocted. That is of no concern to us. For our side has the more talented officers. And if they are ill-prepared for the battle, then clearly our victory is only a matter of time. Well, let's hope so. I need to get going now. Please try and stay out of my way, okay? <laughs> I love uh, his inflection. It's great. I just hope nothing bad happens out there. But Flynn did really great with him. And with Googia as well. I thought we won't hear much of Googia until we get into legend mode. Us. Surely they've worn themselves out by now. Shin Tai yet again. A seasoned battle veteran. I am confident as long as he is with us. <laughs> that old man? I'll show you he's got nothing on me. Lord Dung Eyes. Hunting Tiger is the name of his flying sword weapon. Which, yeah, uh, Jean Kui just has swords that can straight up fly. <laughs> Just because I'm pretty sure that's never explained. You say just one do both two letter switch. Yeah, it is, huh? <laughs> I'm going to show you just how strong I really am. Understood. Unlimited Muso words. Yeah, basically. Check out the enemy ranks. That's his Musos. I actually quite enjoy his moveset. It's really fun. And his first Muso is just swords from below. 
which the enemy happened to have gotten knocked out of, so the officer didn't pay much see any damage from that. But his R1 Muso is straight up Gate of Babylon. And yes, many people have created a Gilgamesh type characters in That's Weird 7 and 8 Empires with the Creator Warrior. Because this moveset pretty much works for that. And if I can land the attack, it's charge two is pretty good. Or charge three. But it's blockable, and these enemies are being rather annoying right now. There we go. Just impale them with one sword, and then impale them with all the other swords. It's very visceral and very enjoying. Enjoy a pull. I swear I flub my words, like, a lot more on stream than when I'm talking normally. I guess it's because my mind is, uh, essentially doing two separate things at once. I figured it was something like that. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. Like, half of my brain is focused on actually playing the game, and the other half is focused on speaking. As a result, I do both worse than I normally would. Zhang Hui is all about people just staying out of his way. You inspire us all. Only an idiot would isolate himself on the battlefield. Prepare to die. I think it's Shahobaz, the commander for this part of the stage. And yeah, I believe the stage is a Dynasty Warrior 7 exclusive stage. Not counting Warriors Archery, obviously. It's kind of weird because it's not like a particularly vital battle. It's just one of the shoe campaigns. Jiang Shu. I wonder if that's Jiang Wei's son. I wonder if he named his son, like, Jiang Shu. Just to name it after Shu. That totally seems like something he would do, doesn't it? Yeah, the start out from his regular Muso has a real bad problem of uh, tossing the enemy outside of the range of the actual Muso attack. It's under like three times now. Yeah, even that, that managed to hit, he was on, like, the edge of it, because it sends him so far back. Uh, I wanted to impale him, but...
<laughs> now we need a Jong Wu and a Jong Jin. <laughs> Young other is what we really need. <laughs> and again, we're just letting Xiao Ba live. All right. That's odd. Where's Jiang Wei? My lord, Jiang Wei's forces have been spotted. Lord Zhonghui is in danger. Now back to the big man with the big drill. Like, Dungai is already pretty massive, but like, the drill is wider than he is. Oh yeah, the charge three. Just stick the drill in the ground and twirl around it. It's so acrobatic. So let's see. Okay, it's a bit hard to tell. I think the drill is spinning. So it's like the drill spinning causing him to spin around, not really him being acrobatic. Or maybe I just want it to be that, because I think it would be cooler. Lord Zhong Hui from above. We must remove the enemy from the high ground. There goes your arm. Your prowess is undeniable. I doubt I have ever seen anything like it. Please use his arm bar move. So, already did. Yeah, I'm gonna use it a lot. I really like it. Guan Yi. He's trying really hard to be Guan Yu. But unfortunately, he was one letter off. He just disappeared. It's also nice that the drill lands is capable of breaking enemy guards with just the basic attack. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, he fell off, so they just counted that as winning, huh? I'm surprised the game was even able to register that and had something in place for if it happened. Are there any skills he needed to unlock? Yeah, Lance Master. That sounds good. Combat resistance. Sure. Let me jump down there or not. I don't think it does. Uh, where did I go? Okay. Hope you're ready for more catapult gameplay.
Yeah, there's my die again. No one told me you were going to show up. You'll have to leave now or our plan will be ruined. <laughs> he just cannot catch a break. I guess this is goodbye. And I stole his brush. This might take a while. Like how there's one officer trying to defeat me, but they literally cannot damage the catapult. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. I shall slay any who would come between me and my duty. One more. The reticle for the catapult is surprisingly sensitive. It makes you nauseous. <laughs> I can kind of get that. Oh, well now he's down there. Not that it matters. Damn it, he dodged. You're not supposed to be able to do that. He's actually out of range now. Well, now it matters. I think there's enemies over here, too. Ah, that should have hit him. That would hit the bridge. That's probably too far ahead. And on a mountain. Does it hit him? Nope. Alright, forget it. <laughs> That's gotten too tedious. The strong and strike at the weak. Yeah, and just jump down now. So much faster. I like how that one officer that fell off is just staying over there. Not that there's anything wrong with the way you old timers are, but still. I am the foundation that supports Lord John Wei's strategy. Okay. <laughs> Died before he finished his line. You can cheer us on all you like. I don't think we've won anything just yet. Ow. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Alright, should be all the arbalist. Not one more over there. Yeah, the Arbalist, uh, the arrow impact is a bit louder than normal. Because it's like eight arrows hitting you at once. The ever-present Liao Hua. I shall see. 
A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. Dale Hall is like the one character who, whenever he says, I shall return, actually means it. So you saw me coming. However, my ambition will not be so easily stopped. Your ambition? You're in the wrong house, buddy. Of my illustrious forebearers. Defeat is unthinkable. This ends here and your forebearers. What about your own ambition? Is your blade really fighting for you? Oh, he brought his HP back up too. Okay. Hold the line. I must train harder so that I may come back twice as strong. I shall slay any who would come between me and my duty. True commitment. But can your devotion bring any sort of future? <laughs> Zhang Wei has a way in his name, so it's legal for him to say ambition. <laughs> Defeated soundly at the hands of Dong <laughs> like it's just against the law to say that the otherwise army was forced to retreat from Duan Gu. It would clearly take Shu some time before they were ready to plot another invasion. However, troubles continued both inside and outside the kingdom. Just as the external threats began to subside, Juga Dan began showing signs of restlessness. He had been offering the people of Shou Chuen gifts to gain their loyalty. In addition, <laughs> oh my god, even Sounds out brainwashed them. <laughs> uncommon kindness, and their respect for him it's like, to grow. Wei is just like very susceptible Throughout to brainwashing. Trend, there were numerous voices calling for Juga Dan to rule the land. Easily influenced. And so, tensions between Suma Zhao and Juga Dan reached their peak. Then the Wei Emperor, Cao Mao, decided to appoint Juga Dan to a position within his court. Cao Mao with his unique he outfit. Suma Zhao to summon Juga Dan to attend the appointment ceremony. Suma Zhao obeyed Cao Mao's request and sent for Juga Dan to come to the capital. Convinced that this was a plot to assassinate him, Juga Dan instead started a rebellion at Shou Chuen. Left with no other choice, Suma Zhao led a unit to go suppress the uprising. He could feel it, the hatred that roiled beneath the surface of this battle. Yugadon really hasn't done much to sort of warrant the betrayal, like story-wise. They've allied themselves with Wu. I think Zhang Wei's got more screen time. They're coming from the south. Wen Qin defected to Wu, and he's in here. A little close for a scouting mission. Juga Dan. What? Uh, is it uh, you? What? You know what I want. You have ignored the Emperor, and usurped power. I want you dead! And... Once I'm dead, what will you do? I... I will rebuild Wei, under the Emperor. If you wish to rebuild Wei, then why are you fighting alongside Wu? I... You... Shut him up! Those are dangerous, they're cutscene arrows. Zhang Hui knows to back off. Part of him. <laughs> Look at him. He's lost sight of what it is that he's fighting for. 
It seems like there are too many like him. No clear goal. No understanding of his capabilities. He must die. Now he's sounding like Simi Yi. That's great. I'm gonna go way over there, okay. We must not allow Jukadan to liaise with the Wu army. Maintain the siege of Shou Twin and break down the Wu! Suma job. I have looked forward to this day. The way army is mightier than I imagined. We must recruit. Mightier than you imagine. There will be more reinforcements. Do not let up the seeds of Shou Chuin. It's like everyone that shows up is just super generic. Like assuming, oh, it's always going to be an easy fight, even though I have no reason to believe so. It's ignoring me. I hate when they do that. Got higher defenses now. The rebels will lose heart. Try to stop me. You are quick at tactics. Your performance out there was simply an effort to get me fired up out there. No. Further resistance will only bring more deaths. Retreat now before it is too late. He has realized he cannot win. He is aware of his own limits. A smart man. I do like how Simu Zhao essentially has his uh, character arc all on his own in this game, as opposed to Dance Warrior's Age, where Jia Chong essentially has to be there to get him to really have any more growth. That was almost too easy. That said, I do still like Jia Chong. I just think Sima Zhao's uh, personal arc sort of got hurt a bit. I mean, what else were they going to do? Redo the same thing again? I don't understand there's some difficulties with uh, repeating the same story over and over again and somehow trying to make it fresh and different each time. Because if you just do the same thing over and over again, well, that's boring. You know, that's Dynasty Warriors 9. <laughs> Spread this story along the front lines. Don't exaggerate. Just let the truth be known. Yes, my lord. Consider it done. The big thing has any lines? Doesn't seem like it. That was almost too easy. You love the block, don't you? Must retreat. This is not the end. I shall withdraw. 
draw for now. Oh, plus 20. Nice. That was almost too easy. You are quite the tactician. Your performance out there was simply an effort to get me fired up out there. No? Oh yeah, we're at four on the imbecile counter. Nice. Man, but the benevolence counter is really outpacing the imbecile one. <laughs> That was at like 17 at the end of the shoe story. We can't retreat or soon Jin will kill us. Let us surrender. Freeze. Resistance is futile. My life is in your hands. Begin making defensive preparations. We will need them soon. Oh, is this the last time we will pierce? I guess that makes sense. Try and stop me. We cannot win, and we cannot go home. Surrender is our only option. Oh, I got tossed out of the grab. Weird. Done outside. Okay, back to soon, Chen. Begin making defensive preparations. We will need them soon. Excellent. Our teamwork was flawless. So Sima Zhao now has two imbeciles under his belt. If he gets a third, I think he surpassed, uh... Oh, that was the end of the stage? Wow. For the third, I think he surpassed his father. Reinforcements from Wu are not enough to break the siege. We must conserve supplies and release all non-personnel from within the castle. You would actually be so cruel as to hand over our loyal followers to those monsters? Suma Zhao has shown mercy to those who surrender. It is you who are hurting our people by starving them. Silence! You have lost your grip! Suma Chao has proven the greater man! Silence! We've seen everything the enemy's got, and we're still here. They don't have long to live now. Yukidan is just spiraling out of control. He's clearly in over his head and has no idea what he's doing. It was over once Juga Don proposed resistance. The troops simply didn't have the morale to keep on fighting. And increasing numbers of those troops are defecting as well. What are we supposed to do with them? I'd just as rather execute them and be done with it. No, we shall forgive them. 
If they are willing, then they are welcome to join our forces. Isn't that being a little too kind? In fact, I think we are being quite cruel. If I were in charge, I wouldn't be showing any compassion to prisoners of war. Good to know. There must be plenty of soldiers inside the castle that are willing to defect. If only we could convince them to open the gates. Lord Suma Zhao must be a kind soul if he is willing to forgive even those that fight against him. Oh, hey, Jia Chong. <laughs> Zhuge Don went on and on about how he wished to protect the kingdom of Wei and the Emperor. Where did he go wrong? What are you guys doing, hanging out in this corner? Do you remember, my lord, when your father pretended to be deaf? Oh, that was brilliant. He had everyone fooled. We all thought he had gone senile. Oh yeah, see, he did that a lot, didn't he? Just feign illness to fuck with people. And then when he was actually sick, he kept it hidden. are singing your praises my lord not just in regards to your ability but also of your compassion towards the enemy they say you have the makings of an excellent leader I see and on the other hand the enemies inside the castle are losing hope they know of the disparity between the abilities of you and Juga Don. I think they realize they have no chance of victory my lord, was this your plan all along? Look at the time. We must resume our advance. Come, Yuanji. Look at the time. As if he's looking at a watch. Is isolated. All forces, launch the attack! <laughs> when Xin has been executed by Juga Dun, it seems his sons have heard the news. <laughs> There may be no way you're talking sense into Juga Don now. I can no longer trust Juga Don. I have nowhere else to go. Wen Chin was a man of honor. I am sure his son is no different. You are gracious, my lord. All I ask is that you allow me to avenge my father. The castle gates are tightly shut. They will not be easily breached. But morale within the castle is non-existent. Those gates may open more easily than you think. Father, no! How could you get down do such a thing? We need now and wait for further instructions. Juga Don has killed your father. You cannot work for him anymore. Join me, and I will treat you with respect. You would forgive us? Thank you, my lord. I cannot just abandon Lord Jugadon. If death is to be my fate, then so be it. Cats are saying they're calling uh, Sima Zhao the benevolent tyrant. <laughs> but don't... Don't tarnish his name with benevolence. <laughs> I can muso so many times with all these around me. And I will. their lives for you summon Wen Young and Wen Hu have them talk the enemy into surrendering ingenious my lord I will make the preparations 
Okay, get her right in front of the bat certificate. You are quite the tactician. Your performance out there was simply an effort to get me fired up out there, no? I like how some of my troops just jump into the water. They just want to go for a swim. And you will be granted clemency, as we have been. Ah, uh, the Sun Man. It's Solaire. This is not the end. Try that was almost too easy. Okay, he disappeared. Surrender them all. Yeah, basically. I, I fought for way. I fought for our people. If you meant to help way, then you should have understood your limits. It is a grave crime to misjudge yourself and to lose sight of your goal. You must be punished for that. Curse you! Just set everything on fire. You and I will be burned to death here, together! It's the war equivalent of tossing over the board game table. ...to go into the next world alone. Return to dust, Jugadon. That was almost too easy. At last, Suma Zhao had rid himself of indecision. Rivers in the desert plays in the background. <laughs> After suppressing Jugadon's rebellion, Suma Zhao returned to Luoyang and calmly prepared. Shido was a great boss move. fight. I love that. He rested all authority. It may be my favorite moment in Persona 5. It was not out of resentment for the time. Especially when it suddenly turned into a one on one fight. And it was not because Cao Mao had orchestrated Jugadon's rebellion. And yeah, Sima Zhao has some good lines against Sima. That's against uh, Jugadon there. Responsibility of uniting the land and bringing an end to the chaos. In the face of Suma Zhao's decisive actions, the last scraps of Wei's power were driven into a corner. And so, Cao Mao set out on one final gambit. Wei Emperor's last stand. Suma Zhao's intentions are now known to all in the land. I will not sit here and wait for death. I will kill him and reclaim Wei. I see those particular peons put all their points into speed. I love how we'll see if Jao was just chilling. So this is the Emperor's answer. A pity. Hmm. 
my lord. I love the little touches with the game too, like Sima Zhao putting his arm in front of Wang Yi. Or Wang Yuanji. Like, that's a nice way to show that he cares about her without, like, just putting it in your face, like, say, uh, Nagamasa Noichi. You can tell there was no one cool around when they're using just regular lieutenants as officers. Thank you, Andy. This is our chance, my lord. Please clear the area of enemy forces. I like how this hits all the ballistas. Like that's insane. Or arbalist, whatever. need to get into the other one. Yeah. But a bunch of peons around, they're all too far away. I may be able to kill some over here, though. And the one's currently running up here, yeah. See, my lord. See what happens when you put your mind to something? And when you have a ballista. Foreshadowing Louis Yang Hydra fight. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Yasha Ori in uh, Warriors Arc 3. Anticlimactic would it be if the stage just ended there? Now, let's end it if we can drop a stat up. HP, boring. This way, my lord. You can enter the palace through here. My tactics will help bring this chaos to an end. A trap. I have to find some way out. Try and stop me. I must stand by his highness. I must remain loyal. I will not have to see the ruin of way. Leave this to me. Well, that's depressing. Oh no, one of those pyro tanks. Whatever will I do against it? You're cornered now, traitor. This is where you need your end. I'm serious this time. Things are looking Taking very care good of. for us. Oh, I can use one myself. I'm sure this will be much better than just destroying them on my own. Fortunately, mine seems to be much stronger. Alright, yeah, done with that. Also, yeah, that things are looking very good for us line is... It's really unfortunate they happen to have gotten that one wrong since it's been reused in like three different stages. It's definitely supposed to be things aren't looking too good for us. 
things up with Chung Ji and his brother. We need to keep a close eye on him. Our names will not go down as traitors. So much up. You are the one who deserves death. I really hate it when they do that. Try and stop me. Fight me now for glory. Bring it to Sai Mao. Beat Sai Mao with it. Burn the Emperor, surf the Emperor. <laughs> I feel like the last one. But I do wonder if I can bring it all the way to Sai Mao. It's out of curiosity. I'll see how far I can take this thing. Did clear up most of the enemies, so. Oh god, come on. It's it's a quarter. Like just Ah oh, jeez. Okay, reverse. Oh dear, how am I even turning this way? Can All right, there we go. Got it. <laughs> it's like operating one of those awkward machines in a Mario Party minigame. Where it should be super simple, but it just controls like ass. Oh, nope. <laughs> Can't go past that corridor. Well, that was pointless. So I'm surprised there's a no pyro cannon sign. I'm impressed they even bothered to include that in the game. I don't think I've ever seen that, uh, that no sign before. Austin Powers moment, it was. <laughs> I will give my life for the Emperor. You will have to climb over my dead body. Okay. I'll surf over your dead body. That's not how I killed him. There were other roads you could have taken. I will have to live with the fact that I have killed the Emperor until the day I die. And history will record me as a killer. But I will take this responsibility, and I will see it through. Suma Zhao killed the Emperor of Wei, Cao Mao. However, Suma Zhao did not desire the throne for himself, and instead appointed Cao Huan as the new Emperor of Wei. Was it due to a sense of guilt for having killed Cao Mao? Or did he feel it inappropriate to take the throne after having perpetrated such treason? It would not be long before the people would learn the true intent behind his actions. Suma Zhao took Zhong Hui, Deng Ai, and his other men and advanced on Xu's stronghold of Yangping Gate. They would retaliate against the countless attacks they had suffered at the hands of Xu. They would put a stop to the meaningless strife brought by Xu, 
which had long ago lost its way and battled on merely out of habit. Sumo Zhao would be the one to bring an end to the age of the three kingdoms. Battled this on merely out of habit. Fulfill the promise he had made to the late Sao Mao. Like Xu just doesn't know what to do with themselves without fighting way. Ba Xu is a natural fortress. It is surrounded on all sides by mountains, and the only road is well defended. All the more reason they will not expect us to come over the mountains. I will make for Yingping via the mountains, and from there to Chengdu. Then you had better hurry, hadn't you? If you take too long, I will go through Yangping Gate and take down Chengdu myself. I will do my best. We will meet again at Chengdu then. Ah, let us begin. Leave it to me. I will not lose to dullards bound by the words of the dead. I will finish everything here today. Going for you talking like he's the one who's gonna finish it all. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's fully upgraded. Okay. There is no road to Young King Gate from here. Perhaps we could erect a ladder against this cliff. But to do that, we need to clear the area first. Going away. If you would be so kind. Is this the last stage? It doesn't really feel like it. So it is Catcher Chung Du, so. I think this might be a three-part stage. Yeah, and I think it just uses a bunch of maps. Instead of it all taking place on one map. Leave Brittany alone. <laughs> I don't know why that came to my head. I must retreat. <laughs> this is not the end. That meme must be so outdated by now. I tried to use Zhang Hui's air muso, but uh, he doesn't have that in this game. Hell, when Yan got caught up in that. Oh, hello, going slow. Ain't annoying, are you? Yeah, so the stage is three parts, and it just uses three completely different maps, at least as far as I recall. So it's a long three-part stage as well, which is pretty fitting. Indeed. I shall do my best to follow your example. Though I did kind of figure this would be the shortest Muso Muso mode anyways. Just due to, yeah, like Mage Knight said, fighting a bunch of generics as enemies. A lot of the stages just sort of had to be simple due to stuff like that. It's Britney. Uh, Britney Spears. It's uh, there's this video of this one Britney Spears fan just uh, shouting "Leave Britney alone," and uh, a lot of people thought it was funny because it's so over the top. A 
So in Ching Sai said, leave Liu Xian alone. <laughs> That's just what I thought of. I don't think I've ever seen the actual video. I think I've just seen, like, clips of it posted in other videos making fun of it. <laughs> Shouldn't be sending ah, freaking ballistas. Can you even reach him from here? Yeah, I can. Okay. This is not the end. Now, if I defeat you, can I take it over myself? Okay, well, that one was collateral damage. I can and will. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Doesn't the enemy value their officers? If so, they shouldn't be sending them to fight me. That takes care of that. If only we could take a ballista with us. Yu Liang truly was the smartest man by making a portable ballista. An early 2000s meme. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the only memes I know. Trying to defeat everyone, there's still enemy officers that ended up reaching the main camp. I'll just assume it'll be fine. Oh yeah, Junk Wei's force moveset is pretty good as well. Good coverage. It's fun to change the Musa back to back. Sudden crush them all at the end. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. <laughs> Ma Dai is alive. He's been alive. It's a bit too late for that. Impaled. I'm fine with that again. What happens to Shao Ba's helmet? It gets knocked off when he's fighting Guo Hai, and he never gets a chance to pick it up again.
Because he ends up having to, like, forcefully yank Zhang Wei away after he comes to save him, but then gets beat up by Dung Ai. I come with a message. The main unit has broken through at Yangping Gate. It has already advanced as far as Jiangu. Once they get by Jiangu, Chengdu will be right before them. Looks like Zhang Wei is doing quite well for himself. We must increase the pace of our own march as well, and make haste to Chengdu so that we may assist the main unit. Understood. The enemy will quake in fear before our plan, and the morale of our troops will increase without bound. Shu has caused us to suffer for far too long. Finally, we are in a position to strike back at their capital for a change. Chengdu is surrounded by strong natural defenses. It will not be easy to capture. Perhaps, but it also works to our advantage, as Shu will let down their guard. They'll never expect we'd come from the mountains. What are you doing back Chengdu is close, but I don't suppose we will just be able to walk in unopposed. Well, yeah. I wonder where Chin Tai went. He probably died or something. Everyone prepare to march. We must reach Chengdu as quickly as possible. Understood. Push through me and you to Chengdu. Come on, men. Father, the northern road is blocked. We must proceed via the south. I swear that one particular generic type always plays like the Sun characters. Like that generic, I believe it's called uh, Wen Qin, Zhang Gai, and Zhang Liao, his father. As a quick music change. Makes it tough to spot any enemy right, and this is when they really struggle to make this stage more interesting. You're just straight up fighting the ghost of Zhuge Liang. It is some sort of trick. Remain calm and get rid of it. Oh, well, time to break a ghost so arm. It lasts beyond your death. But it is that commitment which has destroyed you. I like how he just disappeared. And came right back. I shall bring an end to them. Oh, you just reached another level of brilliance. And Shu apparently has no reaction to fighting alongside Jugalion's ghost. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor. <laughs> this was all part of Jugalion's plan. He knew his ghost would come back to fight. <laughs> Oh, come on. I shall bring it into them. Each is not necessarily to lose. 
shall slay any who would come between me and my duty. Yeah, like, I guess I can kind of see why they did this, because, like, they can't really have any unique officers for this stage, because they were all used for Zhang Hui's stage. Okay, I was gonna take them out, but I guess I can't. Bag, it seems. This moment. I shall slay any who would come between me and my duty. <laughs> Fun doing that attack all the way down. Grandfather, my dog, not a meaningless loyalty. You need to open your eyes. I cannot die, not with so much left to do. I shall slay any who would come between me and my duty. I must retreat. This is not the end. Also, I like how we're down to Jugalion's grandson now. This war has gone on for so damn long. It's gone through generations of families. This is overkill. I bring news. Enemy juggernauts are approaching from the north. I have found the warehouse where the juggernauts are stored. We must seize it. So they have you clear the south side of the map, and then go and clear the north side. Oh, come on. Oh, you survived. Let me fix that. Oh, I can't even hurt them now. They're just leaving. Oh no, these are allies, Juggernauts. Okay. Thanks, game. I saw it. Because you made me stop, I got hit by it. That not kill you. I mean to run in front of it. We're having Arbalist on our side. 
Or Juggernauts, damn it. I keep, I keep getting the names of these weapons wrong. There's something like descendants of the Liu and Yuga families, but they just don't do anything. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. I shall slay any who would come between me and my doom. On my father's honor, I will fight for the land he loves. to protect it. It is one thing to carry on a legacy, but another thing altogether to be ruled by one. Yeah, just waiting for the line to trigger. You have truly earned your reputation. This play will boost the morale of our troops. Hold the line! I Set the castle on fire and I just knocked him out of it. I will not lose to the likes of you. And break. All forces advance upon Chengdu. Now we're on to the last final stage. Oh, was I close to a thousand K? I didn't even notice. We have received word from our messengers. Dung Ai is closing in on Chengdu. We mustn't fall behind. Very well, but be careful out there. We cannot afford to underestimate Jiang Wei's crazed persistence. <laughs> persistence, indeed. Personally, I think he's simply trapped in the past. I believe you are right. Shu is a dead country. We are merely putting them out of their misery. We cannot allow Dung Ai to get there first. Shouldn't we be picking up the pace ourselves? I do really like how uh, a lot of uh, Sima Zhao's dialogue has become... So much more harsher from what he had at the beginning. If we win this battle, then our long war against Chu will finally be over. Okay, not really anyone of note in here. Aside from, uh, oh, Winyan. They say that the Shu Emperor Liu Shan is a complete fool. If we can defeat Jiang Wei, then Shu is finished for sure. Still not enough for double, double element, but oh well. All right, let's go. Everybody here believes in you, my lord. They are all working together towards the upcoming battle. And I have faith that you will have no problem justifying their trust in you. I am pleased to hear so. Thank you, Yuanji. My lord. Come, Yuanji. It is time to bring an end to the delusions of Jiang Wei and eliminate Shu for good. It will be impossible to just break through the center. It would be wise to break them down from the fringes. I believe the name for this track is just last battle or final battle or something like that. Very appropriate. You think you can outsmart me? Don't make me laugh.
seems almost too easy. Haha! <laughs> we'll bring a quick end to all of this. This is not getting us anywhere. My lord, we have to get rid of that catapult. <laughs> Everyone's saying to turn the music up. I can't do that on my end. I don't see Lord Dung Ai anywhere. Do you think he got held up? And he jumped down. Ignoring me. It is the great crack. And this stage is massive. It might be the biggest one in the game. Young Q again. I'm not sure if you move faster on a horse with a speed up, or if it's the same. If you're on foot. Become a problem if we don't deal with them now. I believe your wits are a match for mine. Try and stop me. That takes care. This is more like it. That's better. Come, my lord. the hopes and dreams of the departed. I cannot allow you to go any further. Yeah, there she is. Took her a second to spawn in. Okay, let's get this thing to retreat. It's not necessarily to lose. That was almost too easy. Father, Blan Ping, everyone. I am so sorry. The future of Shu was too much for me to bear. The ball's on Liu Shan to meet us in person. You're awfully quiet. Not what I'd expect from the leader of a fallen army. And you're not at all what I expected from a traitor to his kingdom. If anything, you have shown you possess the confidence and bearing of a true ruler. I wish we could have met earlier, my lord. Please get 
Immediately starting with a Muso. I figured you'd stay in the castle until the very end. What made you come out? I am a simple man, and it is hard for me to judge the situation without seeing it for myself. Okay, I've made my necessary preparations. I suppose I should give them a try. Liu Shan has given up. <laughs> But the Mina won't start trying to kill him. Let's fall back. It's getting me and I grow weary. Only got me a plus two stat booster, but hey, I'll take it. I owe it to the people of Shu. I have to fight until the very last. Freaking ballistas. Collect all these stat boosters while getting shot at. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. Oh, astounding! I'm already at the 600 KOs. Yeah, I'm, I get the feeling I'm gonna hit a thousand. You are quite the tactician. Your performance out there was simply an effort to get me fired up out there. No. It's one shot. These are mine now. What a disaster. I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. Is it possible you have overcome your laziness, my lord? Even if just for a moment, I am quite proud of you. your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Alright, we're gonna get some catapult gameplay here at the end. Yep. Oh, these are mobile catapults. I can move these. Huh. I think that's enough catapult gameplay. <laughs> At least we have the option. Duggers aren't aren't half as annoying as uh, having a bunch of ballistas surrounding you, so I'll just moose out these guys and move on. Well, that's depressing. I do like having your whole force here. It's probably easier for them to do when most of the Jin force have died by now. <laughs> and they're already a small force to begin with. Like, it's basically just four guys. Like once, whoa. Oh, time to bring it into a legend. Goodbye, Aloha. 
taken seriously. But they will ultimately lead to control of the land. No! The enemy think they can get away with anything! <laughs> oh, you and you got him. <laughs> Fences are still an issue, even at the end. Oh, was there even any unique line when I got a thousand KOs? I'm not, I'm not sure if there was. If there was, I don't think I noticed it. Those got pretty high defenses. I like how despite Bao Sun Young uh, appearing in, in the opening cutscene, he doesn't appear in story mode. Like at all. You'd think they'd have her for uh, the late game gym sages just for another Musou officer to fight. But I guess she just died. <laughs> that was almost too easy. Lord Liu Bei dreamed of a land of virtue. The Prime Minister gave all he had to make it a reality. Away from me. And now their dream is in my hands. I am the last of my kind. You are ruled by outdated ideas. I wish to open a new era. One in which you have no part. This ends here and now. I agree. We hereby surrender before you. Liu Shan is no fool after all. Shu still has resources to spare. It seems a little premature for them to surrender. That's why it is a good one. From just the smallest skirmish with us, he has seen he cannot win. He has realized his limitations and has chosen surrender. You see, he knows what he wants. We were not fighting Liu Bei or Zhuge Liang. Their leader is still very much alive. The long age of the Three Kingdoms finally came to an end at the hand of Sima Zhao. Liu Shan chose to surrender, thus sparing the lives of his people. Afterward, he was relocated to the Wei capital and was named Duke of Anle. He was the defeated ruler of a dead nation, a disgrace to his father. He was showered with endless ridicule and jeers. But now that it was all over, he was finally able to smile.
sure feels good to know that Shu won't be giving us any more trouble. <laughs> hey, they'll hear you. <laughs> Here, drink up. Does it make you sad to think of your country? Not at all. In fact, I'm enjoying myself. There's no one around to tell me what to do anymore. No need to follow the dreams of the dead. Hmm? <laughs> Too true. Too true. Those who built the three kingdoms were too idealistic. We have been trapped by their dreams, and that kept the war going. But enough is enough. We must open our eyes. We are the new generation! Suma Zhao took the title King of Jin and began his preparations for a new age. However, destiny had a different idea. He died a year later. His son, Suma Yan, forced the Emperor of Wei to abdicate thereby destroying the kingdom of Wei. Later, he himself became emperor. Over time, political upheavals and began to lose power. Fifteen years after the establishment of the Kingdom of Jin, Wu surrendered to Jin. No one can surpass me. Now I'm on my rampage until this chaos comes I'm to an end. Win. win and win some I more. live for the day this chaos comes to I an end. be defeated, for I fight to protect the greater cause. Justice back to this world, no matter what the cause. I devote to those I love and care of my efforts. My motivation lies in my pursuit for protecting my life. I only look that it will be My bow has never missed it. Nothing is like the way it was before today. We live in a world. I won't stop until I fulfill my duty. Thus, the three kingdoms of Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and Liu Bei were all eventually conquered under the rule of the Sun clan. Yeah, that last cutscene is great. Ah, uh, I get chills. <laughs> Swooping through everything. Great. Definitely the best ending I've seen. For like the Three Kingdoms. I remember when Dust Warrior 7 was first coming out, uh, people saw that, uh, that mask guy with the sword. Like, uh, that brief little moment in the last cutscene of him swinging his sword around, sort of dance-like. 
And people were thinking that was going to be like a new character. Because we had no idea. <laughs> and then in actuality, when the game finally came out, that was all he does. <laughs> Just some guy that swings the sword in the final cutscene. <laughs> Damn it, Spinnerishness. <laughs> Thanks for streaming. I always thought that was the most emotional Osaka castle. Even if they didn't make it much of a castle for some reason. Yeah, it's weird. Who knows? <laughs> I do agree, though. This is the best Osaka castle. I love that, uh, the bittersweet feeling you get from, like, yeah, you won, Sima Zhao's, like, happy, Liu Shan's happy, but then Sima Zhao dies. It's one year later. That's all it takes for Chaos to erupt again. And even then, I don't think Sima Yan kept the peace for too long, either. I think, like, 40 years or something. Hopefully Chengdu and Simra were his four come to this. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I am glad they didn't include Shahoba in that final uh, screen at the end. Or Zhigadon. They kept the ones that were like full-on gen characters. Alright, well that's all the story modes. Uh, yeah, this is like four and a half hours, a little more. But yeah, definitely the shortest one. Let's see. What should I do next? Conquest mode or legend mode? Conquest mode is going to be a lot more boring. I guess I'll just get it out the way. All right, this is a new character, so I can't even... Or this is a new save file, so I can't even see all the stages. Oh well. I was gonna have a peek at the map screen, but... I don't feel like going through the whole motions of starting it over again. But yeah, uh, I guess I'll stream Conquest Mode Nets, and I'll probably just be doing the uh, the unique stages that uh, all the characters have. Maybe some of the DLC ones. We'll see. It'll probably be a short stream. Then after that will be Legend Mode, which... Uh, that'll probably take a while. There's a lot of stages in that. All right. Well, that's it for this stream, so thanks for watching, everyone. Yep, I really enjoyed the story mode in these games. <laughs> it's nice to experience it, and I'll probably play it again to re-experience it at some point later. But that's it for the day. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.